Hey everybody, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to a stream of Civ 3 single player today, and we're going to be playing more Civ because when I am interested in something, I do not stop being interested in that thing until I've had my fill, we'll say. I don't know. So, Frank Zappa, unless there was something corrupted about your download or you had you pirated it wrong or something, like if you buy the game on Steam or if you pirate it correctly, the game will come with the editor. Let me show you where the editor is. So, you go to your Civ 3 game folder. In Steam, that will be this. See, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common. Take a screenshot right now, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, probably not the conquest folder actually maybe the conquest oh yeah for the conquest editor sorry it's in the conquest folder so it'd be right here if it is somehow not in that folder maybe just the icons not showing up but look for the application it should still be there okay great so i i, I thought the game is a shame about last week's game but we made some really really good progress and i'm really happy about how i'm doing on the difficulty i think i learned a lot and i will be applying that into a new game i'm just gonna get better and better right I realized with some of these games, I could probably grind it out and maybe get a win, but I don't want to have to like play another five-hour war conquering my whole continent to find out that I'm too far behind in tech and I can't win. Uh, that would just be really unfortunate. So uh, I'm going to go for the games to start off again from scratch until I'm better and better to the point where I, I don't have to worry about being able to win and I'm more confident about being able to close it out. What you downloaded has none of that. Um, I don't know what to say, sorry. Wait, you don't have... Okay, did you get it off Steam, Frank? Or did you get it from somewhere else? Like, good old games? Did you pirate it? Did you, like, find an old CD copy of the game or something? Uh, I need to know where you got it uh, before I can give you an advice about that. Okay, so we're doing the same map settings as last time. Large, no barbarians, uh, arid, 70% water comp. Um, Condens... Yeah, of course it's viable. A little to put patio. Uh, but mostly on on Pangaea. On Pangaea, it would be easiest. On continents, it might be doable. On Archipelago, it would be really, really hard. Because when the AI is alone on an island, they just build 50 million units. It's very hard to conquer entire continents or islands on SID difficulty. Uh, we're doing large again. Sorry, these are the settings I, I want and I think are most favorable for me. I, I mean, huge would technically be more favorable, but I don't want to play a huge map. That sounds exhausting. Downloaded via Google. Oh man. Okay, it's it's five dollars on Steam. It's less if you live in a certain countries, and it's less like it goes on sale for seventy five percent off. You can also just pirate it. I I pirated it before. If if money is an issue, or if you don't have like a credit card or a mailing address, I'd recommend pirating it instead. Uh, but on on Steam, it's very cheap and accessible. Okay, great. So same settings as last time, standard settings uh, against particular civs playing as the Dutch. I've realized that the, the Aztecs might be a good chance later choice later on. Be harder to suicide those galleys and you don't start with alphabet, which is a bit of a pain in the butt, but I think I could still make it work. Uh, and the militaristic trade in the long run is obviously very, very beneficial uh, for farming great leaders, armies, etc. And yeah, the two move jags for, for scouting around would also be useful. I think if I, I was going to play against, I, I can't, sorry, man, I cannot tell you how to do that on the stream. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I don't even know like the, the legality of me saying, oh yeah, you can pirate the game. You should totally do that. Um, but I, I cannot walk through you through pirating a game <laughs> uh, without getting my stream shut down by YouTube. So sorry, man. Uh, maybe come to the Discord and someone can give you an advice. Uh, Greece. Oh, actually, we've realized we don't want to play a scientific civs churro. Last game, I didn't do any teching at all. I just bought the techs. Um, what I've realized is that, like, if you just, if you tech a tech, right, you spend 10, 20 turns, 25 turns, and then you get the tech. If the AI already have that tech, you're shit out of luck. You just invested that money. All you got was the tech, and you're now you're behind. When you buy techs, you can just pick the one that some of the AI have and some of them don't. And you can kind of organize trades where you get multiple techs for the price of one. Uh, you also get it sooner, obviously, right? Uh, the, the tempo advantage of getting your techs 20 or 25 terms sooner is obviously huge. 
<laughs> Thank you, Matt. Man. Yes, it is. It is technically possible to do that. Pirating is something that is within the bounds of human capacity. So the good news, Emmy Simmers, is we are starting a new game. The last one was really fun. We got really far. We had some hilarious fails, though. We literally, literally one turn away from getting the Great Library. Kept on playing. God, literally a one-tile hole in my wall of outposts that the Arabs landed eight units onto and took a bunch of my cities. And uh, we dealt with that. We killed them. And then we got the, the culture flip that not only removed all our our only source of luxuries, but broke our trade rep because we were selling one of those luxuries to another civilization. And that was fine, but then we sold all our universities like dumbasses. And that, yeah, I'd, I'd rather restart. Accelerated production is just not a balanced game setting. It, it was not properly balanced, uh, fuzzy line. So I wouldn't recommend playing with it on. It's uh, It's broken. Like workers do not move any faster in accelerated production. Culture has not been accelerated in accelerated production. Uh, what are some other things that are really imbalanced? Oh, minimum and maximum tech time in accelerated production. The, the turn limit, <laughs> the game time, it's still a 540 turn game, despite having accelerated production on. It's just, it's not, it's half a half bake setting. I, I wish there was a way to play the epic full feel of a Civ 3 game in a faster time, but that's not an option offered by accelerated production, sadly. Oh, wild. Yeah, doing school and working at the same time is hard. So congratulations to him. Thank you, je n'emploie pas la bonne méthode. Oh, what's the incorrect method that you employ? Oh, hey, Antium. Uh, sorry, you mentioned you were going to show me your game. Feel free to send me some screenshots, by the way. Um, I, I, I think, yeah, like I, I could help you a lot based on what you showed me before, but uh, because of the time zones, it can be tough. Okay, great. We have, okay. So I could, what I could do is I could find like a, an appropriate save file before the game starts. Uh, and we could just start with that seed. Uh, but I don't want to do that. One of the things on Civ Fanatic I get kind of suspicious about is that like, whenever they do like succession games or or stuff like that, I think the players kind of, they pretend that they just rolled a seed or they aren't honest about how hard it was to get the seed that they got. Uh, and it, it gives some, it gave me some unrealistic expectations of like what kind of stuff you can expect by rolling random seeds. Oh, this looks pretty good. I do like plains cows. We got jungle, which is odd for an arid map. Uh, desert is good for us. We have a luxury that's always useful and we fish. As a seafaring sieve, we cheap to get the harbor. But yeah, like I, I like just so you guys have a realistic expectation of what rolling starts looks like. I, I like to roll them all myself. It takes maybe ten or twenty minutes to find one that's playable. Although here it only took a couple minutes. Uh but yeah, it also guarantees I'm not cheating, right? I I I, I could just like retire, find the seed, and then retire the game so I know where all the islands are. So I know where to suicide my Kurags or something like that. Uh, but I don't want to do that. And I want I want proof that I'm not doing that. A second cow. Okay, this is on. Yeah. Oh, it's a forest. Fantastic. Great. This is good. We, we kind of have like an... We do kind of want to be at like the top. We don't want a sieve to be right here. Like ideally we want like one sieve down here maybe. So I do like the positioning. I think because we have high production, we just go straight for the grand, and we do benefit for a lot from the the production here. So um, as before, we do alphabet or writing at minimum tech speed. We'll get it in fifty turns, and we'll get a bunch of gold in the meantime. Reasonable. This is exceptional. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Batman. Yes. Oh, oh no, Cedric. Um, I made some mistakes in that game series. Uh, yeah. Is probably like I could still have the potential to conquer my continent if I was just patient and I went for artillery. Uh, but I was kind of fed up with the mistakes that I made and I wanted a fresh start. And honestly, like I, I just don't know Sid that well. I couldn't guarantee that that would be a winnable start to you. Like I wouldn't want to like spend an extra five hours on it and then it's like, oh, we can't win this because we're too far behind in tech or something. Yeah, this is fine. Well, we might put a city here, right? There's 
two tiles apart is fine. We could even put a city right here. Oh, um, be bad for production corruption, I guess. Whatever, though. Oops. Um, I think we wanted this on the cow. Yeah, 100%. Uh, now, again, we're going to have a situation where we haven't scouted and we have to pick our second city location. I think flexing the cow is a smart choice, uh, but it, we won't get the ideal start. Okay. So it's three, so seven. We could actually do this, right? Yeah. Well, it's a desert. That's no issue for us because we're agricultural. There's actually a floodplains here and one here too. Oh, I hope that doesn't, it doesn't give you disease unless you work the tile, all right? I hope not. Because I, I do not need those floodplains and I don't want disease. That'd be a shame. Okay, let's... Huh. That is not great. Wait, um... This is... Okay, I'm gonna make me count. 9, 12, 15, 16. 6 and 8 is 14. No, we... If we want the settler in two, we, we got to do this. Okay, so the city's going here. Don't know how strong that is. And it doesn't look very strong, but it gives us the max unique tiles and it's on the river. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to fuck. Uh, yeah, like, I don't want to flex the cow. Oh, this was poorly managed. But I kind of have to because the city is garbage otherwise. Oh, crap. Uh, we can do this. Let's kind of hold it on the alphabet. He's going this way. Okay, I think we're better off using the cow in our cap because our cap has the granary, so it benefits more from the additional food. Although I, I think we get another turn out of this. Oh, there's a second forest, actually. Interesting. So four. Uh, I think this still finishes an eight, so that's correct. It gives us more food. Okay, here is red. Yeah, I'm glad we waited on the Zulu. Oh, if we're... I don't want to write this off just yet, but if there's someone east of us, we're in trouble. Okay, so Vortex. Oh, doesn't have masonry. Well, that's done. Got a new keyboard. This one is less of a pain in the ass. Okay, I, I have to complain about the first keyboard. That it came like I, I bought a new desktop and the keyboard came with it. It contained two buttons that would just straight up brick my computer. Like one that would like exit you to like this a sleep button that would put the computer to sleep, and another one that would um boot you out and put you in the lock screen and have me retype my password. And on top of that, there were seven keys or five additional keys that would um, alt tab me from the game. So like bring up the search bar, like the search bar or like bring up the fucking weather, just dumb shit like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and those these were all like strewn across the F keys, right? If you didn't do function F, and I was doing like Windows key F instead of function F and it would do it, it would mess me up like that. Uh, and you use the F keys a lot for, for Civ 3. So it was a really bad computer uh, uh, keyboard to be streaming Civ 3 with. Anyway, yeah, I got a new computer. It's a nice little clacky. Um, it's a used game. He said the guy that the there's a really nice man at the uh, computer store. 
I didn't go like to some big box places, like one of those uh places along the road. Like they do phone, like you know, like the the shop with the guys doing like phone repair and selling old computer parts. They're really nice people. Uh, should you always rush granary? No, in fact, I've I've I'm thinking little tapatio more than ever that granary is is not good in your cap. But here I have a lot of production and relatively less food, so I, I think it's the better choice. Okay, I'm going to start working. I'm going to use this. This tile can be flexed. Oh, I actually can't flex this, um, but my cap can use it and it works my way towards that, which I want to be my third. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, Jesus. Uh, they might not have met yet, actually. I'll well, we'll just take that. Good. He has the wheel now. I could consider buying that. Yeah. Uh, so this is Warrior. Oh, fuck. Zulu's right there. Yeah, I don't... Um... Uh... If I got a lot of land this way, it might be playable. No, there's no way I can wall this off. This is brutal. That's a shame because the cap was really good, but the land around the cap was not great. Oh, yeah, Incans up there. Yeah, uh, or Arabs. That was not going to end well. So that's okay. Yeah, shame about the cap again, but... Um, Positioning is as important, to, or equally important to land. I like the furs. This would be good in a golden age, but um, you just don't get much out of the furs in despotism. And there's no bonus food, aside from the river. Um, I, I wouldn't want to say there's no way, right? I'm just... I, I'm not the best player at, at single player, right? So... Not gonna be a cow up there. Let's walk this this way and just yellow it. I'm also not doing reloads here. Yeah, I don't like the delay on the cow and nothing else. Good showing. Huh. Uh, I suspect the second city's. I, I shouldn't have walked the worker like that because this is fine. It's actually good. Um. I wasted one worker move. That's acceptable, I think. We're going to do grand. Again, high production start, um, low food. So we're doing grand. Okay, normally, for the sake of not wasting worker moves, you'd road after you did this. But uh, it's really important I get this irrigated as soon as possible. And I've got like a path. Oh, maybe I don't have a path back. Fuck me. Probably should have eroded that. It doesn't really delay me that much. Here's Arabia. Yeah, I don't think I like this. Ew. <laughs> That's ugly. Scenarios are definitely great, uh, Zappa. Uh, this is, yeah, these are Sid games. Oh, okay, H here we are. Uh, what do I want to do with this? I think I'm, I'm mine on the spot. I want, yeah, I want the coastal capital, so I, I guess we're going for this. This is, like, pretty heavily coastal, so my production will be limited late game. I think I'm actually giving up... Um. Hmm. Interesting. We're at corner of the map. That's good. Fish. There's no forest here. Oh, but we got double planes, Cal. Like production won't be an issue. Okay. And do we go irrigate or do we go mine? Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> 
Towel, if you're here, we should add this one to the uh, <laughs> the worker move simulator uh, game we made. I think the tempo on the irrigation is too good to pass up. Yeah. Ooh, another sugar here. Good. Yeah, we get these three tiles. Yeah, we got. Oh, with the double hills. Yeah, late game we will we'll be. This will be like an acceptable level of. Uh, production. And in the short game, or short run. Oh boy. Okay, let me do. Oh uh, shit! I I need to do the bath here, guys. Okay, uh, four, four, five, five. So we don't actually get anything off that. Um, I think we can do one, two, and then four, four, fuck. Oh, wait, oh, wait, no, five, five, five. Okay, um, we might even go straight into Settler here. Uh, it's got to be Settler or Kura. Let's go for the super early Kura. Is it five? Yes. I think we could have technically done one more turn of Plains Cow. And two... It will matter <laughs> if we're doing Kura. I guess we're doing Settler then. <laughs> Out of bitterness. Okay. Four and four. Okay, that works well. Nice. Uh, this, fuck. So it'd be two. I think this works, yeah. We want the, the pre-road on the settler. Okay, so we hit the wait key a bunch and this other road finishes. Um, now we're gonna do Kura. And we can flex the cows, awesome. Yeah, and this isn't like too many overlapping tiles too. We have the sugar as a, a backup tile. This is really good. Yeah, this is exceptional. Uh, I think the, we irrigate the one we don't flex. Wait, you know, this is five per turn. We actually need seven food to do anything. Oh, but the irrigated cow would give us seven food. That's wild. Oh, and there's another cow. Fuck. Uh, I st the river, river spot, it, like, even knowing that cow is there, I'd still plant on this spot because the river is too good. And we, we get this cow anyway, right? We can flex for the first little while. And we can, like, plant a city up here to connect the cow. Is this done now? No, it's done in two. Wild. Um... Can we do Gran here? No, let's get the Warrior. We got, like, our growth is pretty guaranteed. With the high shields and the high commerce. Uh, I think it's pretty likely we got enemies nearby, but we'll see. Lux, that's always good. Oh, nice, and yeah, we can just do this. Okay, let's just go straight for Settlers. Uh, just in case we got enemies pretty close by, I think this start is still manageable. If we just get some settlers out quickly. Okay. Uh, oh no, I, I miscalculated. Yeah, we need both of these cows to be irrigated to get cellar for, or growth for three. Hey, llama boy. I mean, we probably want to do that anyway, but 
we do want Rotterdam to use the cow. Three. Okay. Nice, yeah. Quick settlers, it's what it's all about. Irrigate is a quick worker move. If we could like guarantee this little southern peninsula, that'd be good. Uh, Egypt. Okay. Not a bad sieve to be running into. Okay, Fortex. That's pretty normal. Um, I think we wait. Yeah, we, better to try for the 2 4, 2 for whatever you say. Okay. At this point, do we do Gran or do we just go straight to Settler? I think we do Settler. Yeah, these these cities are so good. Hey, uh, Dimitri, Dimitri, Zo, Zomin, Xomin. I I don't know how to pronounce the that letter. Oh. These are so great. Nice. Okay. Now that causes issues. Oh, ha. I, I hate how unevenly they expand. It's like hard to predict like where the next city is coming from. And I still haven't explored down here. This is such a shame. Okay. I think we're guaranteed one of these gems. Like just with the border expand from the hog or whatever. Yeah. So like this would be a decent city, but it's like either we plant off the river or we plant like two away from either ourselves or from Egypt. So let, let's stake out something east. Okay, I'm worried we're not going to meet another sieve. Are we like alone down here with them? I, that's not the worst thing in the world. But I, I just get worried about tax, you know? Okay, so this can grow in three now. Yeah, that's insane. So we wouldn't, based on the growing in three, we'd only grow in two with the granary, so we don't really benefit that much from the granary. I think at this point, I'm just going to take the, the wheel. Fucking hell. Ugh, no. Okay, um, we will need to work a worker into our build at some point. Oh, here's Babylon. Oh, okay, thank God. I still get some text out of him. Um, uh, I guess just the one, that's okay. Can we like start a war between those two? That seems like it would be something in our favor. Like just to block, like that would really hamstring their expansion phases and stop them from stepping on my toes so much. Okay, at this point we start planning point we start planning further away this will let us get that grassland tile at a minimum that is fine 
Ah, now we we actually do need to let this grow a bit. Because at the moment it's uh Uh, lose it slows down its growth when it doesn't have access to all three cows. We can speed up the growth here at least. Okay, and then just straight for settler. Okay, this one is off river. It gets us more land. If we could like, yeah, like oh horses, good. So this one, because the second shield is corrupted, this is how you know you do a worker from that city. If you try to do settlers, it's just going to cause too many issues. Nice, not seeing any enemy AI. Oh, uh, Mongols. Maybe they don't actually have con with each other. Yes, they don't have alphabet. Good. Uh, weirdly, they also don't have ceremonial burial, but I, I I couldn't get any better trades if I had if I like if I buy it, it, it doesn't give me anything off the Mongols. So uh, there's not really much useful in that info. Um, I think we work that way because this way's kind of rivered off. Like this city will do a worker or something, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, that's such a pain in the ass. Okay, well, at least we got that city down. Uh, not sure. Oh. <laughs> About to call him, call him a hypocrite when I realized I just planted that city. Uh, if he wants to go north, that is fine. Yeah, there's just so much land in between. What the fuck are they doing? Where are the cities here? There's a, literally a floodplain weed city. Jesus, I hope you get hit by a fucking volcano, dude. Okay. Four and six, fine. This watch should be speeded up a bit. Expansion of civs pop settlers in settler cities. Yes, Majed, but on Sid, I don't think that's possible. Maybe possible for the AI, AI, definitely not for the human player, though. Okay. Um, I guess this is warrior settler. Worker would be nice, but I don't think that's a luxury we can afford. He's just walking home. He is just straight up walking home. He might take the horses first, but I'm fine with that. I got other horses over here. Uh, yeah, nice. Zulu. Okay, here we go. So Egypt, four techs, Mongols, three techs. Ah, so they've met the Zulu now. They just magically got three techs. It's, it's a shame I didn't get there first, but... Uh, they're missing masonry. Both of them are missing masonry, so I can profit off that. And Babylon, Vortex. Okay. So the angle is literally just buy masonry and sell it. That's a good enough an angle for me, though. Okay, this leaves me pretty broke. Hopefully I'll get something back from the other sieves. At least ceremonial burial. Shit. Well, ironworking. Ironworking is really good. Um, oh, and I get a bunch of gold off this. Good. Okay, that somewhat makes up for the going paying a bunch of gold per turn. This gives me some gas in the tank for later on, in case I meet another sieve who can uh, do make some good deals with me. Okay, I wouldn't want horseback riding anyway, so I mean Egypt might have mysticism or something. Yeah.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. So yeah, Egypt has mysticism. I, I guess I could consider that deal. Oh, there's iron here. Okay, we're in good shape then. Um, I think the warrior actually works. Warriors are, yeah, we'll go, we'll, I think the double corral will be good for now, based on our positioning. And then we could just, like, send one this way if we need a, a third to suicide. Uh, and I think this maintains us our growth per three. So that's good. Um, let's see. So if Babylon has mysticism, they do. All right, because I got some more gold per turn at my disposal, and Zula have some more gold up front. I, I don't want... Oh, no, they have mysticism, and I, I don't want horseback riding, so that's not going to happen. Great. One happy face for Suede. That's, I appreciate that for us. That's cute. Thank you. Okay, so now we get the Settler. Settler should finish in four max, which leaves us a three pop. So he's probably going to plant on the horses. I, I don't like him planting on the... Oh, there's more land that way. God. I, I guess maybe his cap is over here or something. Yeah, this stuff over here is good land. I need this city. That's an important one. I'm wondering if I should maybe like just sack this stuff. Because this would be a good, pretty good forward position. Double gems. It's a useless city in the short run, but... Whatever, but if I can get more of this stuff closed off and like push north this way, but this gives me like a this is all flat land, right? This is easy to conquer if I just get control of these hills. Um, so okay, he plants on the river, that's okay. Mongols. Let's keep exploring. We have two warriors on hand in case we need to kind of block them off. I, I think we can actually block off the, the southern here pretty easily. So let's focus on getting some good cities out there. Shit. Ah. You know what? We can plant that at our leisure. Or like, oh, this might be a good city spot here. Yeah, we'll go, the hog will go this way. Amsterdam will go here. This will go here. And this will go out east, I guess. Uh, we can get <laughs> a little further along the river, maybe. At the moment, it looks like we have one luxury. We have dies on the continent. Yeah, last game we only had two lux on the whole continent. It was pretty brutal. Like to avoid that if possible. Nice. Looks like some good bonus grassland down there. I'm gonna be happy to plant cities there. We've got lots of core. We do. We're our, our like our front line is more exposed than it was last game. Especially like our core cities are kind of right up in the faces of these enemy sieves. Uh, but we do have better land than last time. Uh, full stop. So. So it would be more, faster to do this here and Groningen's settler over here. But I do not want to lose the city because it blocks off the. Yeah, it helps me. Um, I think we go here. This stakes more land. It also plants marginally sooner. Yeah, and this one goes up here. Warrior. Great. The yeah, iron's safe for the continent gets blocked. Good point, yeah. Um, I guess maybe that should be a focus. Oh, I think we cannot... Yeah, we need to do another warrior first. That's good, yeah. Warrior warrior settler out of Amsterdam is a good cycle. Oh, we could turn this down. Way lower. Great. And this road makes it a little easier to settle the east out of Rotterdam. 
Okay, so if we do weight cycling, yeah, the road finishes. It's nice. If we could just get like this area up to the sugar here, that'd be absolutely fantastic. We could forward plant on these hills later, so we have good positioning over Egypt. We're going to keep this up here, just so we have the option to block if needed. Uh, this one covers more tiles. Oh, the wheat. Okay, yeah, we want that. We could do one up even. This one, let's just... Dies. Good. Okay, that's us. Oh, nice, and it moved us further out. Play Civ 4, please. Uh, I'm not very good at Civ 4, Adam. There are great YouTubers who play Civ 4 and who even stream Civ 4, but I'm, I'm not one of them, sadly. I'll have to fix that, but... Nice. Okay, we got dies. This should... You know what? Let's... No, this is... Um... It gets more foreign tiles. Unless there's like incense right there. So. Okay. You know, we probably would not have got that wheat in that city until we conquered. It's fucking Babylon, you know? So lots of culture coming from them. Uh, and that's okay then. Okay. Put that back. So this one goes. I think it's actually easier to block off like this. Yeah, so we're going to do this. I It's just such a pain in the ass if I plant that. You know what? This isn't too much worse. This is, yeah, there's actually just one more warrior used, and we get significantly more land. So I'll do that. Oh, purple. Okay. So this is guaranteed contact. Um, I might lose my Gallus card in the process. This is pretty far north. I'm wondering how that continent lines up. Is that like a little island that they... No, there's no way they have map making. Nice any simmers. Ah, interesting. Yeah, streaming at the gym is the best. Depends on how crowded the gym is, of course, but... Uh, I like to do big compound lifts, so I, I take pretty big rest sets between uh, my... <laughs> my my lifts okay this one should be a settler now yes okay good this is all lining up perfectly uh, i think this is worker settler from here or worker temple sorry great yeah sure man move me even further if you want to incense okay so there is incense on the continent though in fact, that makes it pretty likely there's incense somewhere in this massive desert. I guess this is an arid map, so there's a lot of desert, but pretty likely, we'll say. Okay, so we W cycle, uh, and now we catch this guy before he walks back here because we want to go to the dyes next. Okay, so now we get to meet the Incans. Who do not have alphabet yet, uh, but not much else of use. Maybe they're going poly. They often do that when they're on small islands alone. You can call the AI a little bit polyamorous, you might even say. Oh, a home gym, that'll do it, yeah. <laughs> Into natural bodybuilding, good, yes. The only thing I like about bodybuilders who are on gear is when they're honest about it because it's, it really sickens me the unrealistic expectations some people have because there is like so much good shit you can accomplish with natural bodybuilding huh we actually did the second settler out of Amsterdam before the one out of Greninja crazy but yeah there's so much great stuff you can accomplish with natural bodybuilding but in terms of like the speed that people think you can accomplish it 
yeah, uh, steroids have definitely made things harder. Did this sink? No, this didn't sink. Let's take a check. Nice. We're actually doing pretty good here. Our road network is, we're working on these dies here, which connect to our cap would be pretty good. I wonder if this is the moment where I do the, no, we, we need another settler out east. We got a few of them coming, even more. So just a couple warriors will keep this stuff safe. Yeah, like once we get like four warriors, we can just rotate them around and that, that does the trick. Okay, we're going to go suicide from here. We have our warrior in case there's anything left on our continent. Uh, any sieves left to discover, but I don't think there are. Yeah, uh, so, I mean, they might, they'll probably get a city here. If they get like one down here, that's not, it's all flatland, right? So it's not that big of a deal to clean up. I'm probably going for horses here. So there are worse things than, like, if you do, like, a stack of swords, it's just such a pain to, like, take a city here and then rotate back to the main front, uh, but that's not going to be the case for me. Okay, Incans have spices, but that is connected, it's not connected by sea, actually, interesting, hmm. only by ocean. So generally, sea connections to other continents are better than ocean connections to other continents. Uh, I've learned this in the most recent game. That's because... Generally, the AI will prioritize navigation very highly, so right after they get astronomy, they will usually get navigation. So to the AI, there's not much difference between a sea connection for trade and ocean connection. Uh, but for you, you ideally, you just completely skip navigation and you just do ocean trade via magnetism, but often you don't want to wait that long. Because let's say there's like five spices here, he'll, he'll just trade them all away and the AI says we'll get them on lock and you won't have access to them anymore. Because uh, the AI will just do repeat deals, repeat deals, and you won't be able to get uh, get in and compete for the spices. Uh, so because of that, um, maps where there's like an ocean connection are worse because you're going to be delayed. Uh, unless you sacrifice and get navigation, you're going to be delayed being able to trade with the Incans. Whereas with astronomy, you can follow pretty too, pretty close behind. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too, any simmers, that like being on gear alone does not guarantee that you will make good gains. Which is really sad. Imagine selling your soul for the devil and then the fiddle is broken. I mean it's a fiddle made of gold. What what were you expecting, but <laughs> Okay, so this goes here, one, two. Uh, I'm debating, do I put it on the BG or not? Because I want to put it on the, the Tundra. Yeah, we'll do this. The next one goes on the Tundra. One goes on the hill, I guess. And these are just worker cities. Oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> It's about time, I guess. Okay. Let's see if I can mini wall this. It's going to have die. Yeah, we'll turn this up. We're going to have dies soon. We can probably, like, I, I, these definitely kind of sus, these warriors. And that's fixed at least. So let me know, guys, what do you do while you're watching my streams? I actually stream Civ 3 while I watch, not while I watch my own streams, I guess. Okay, so here we are. Great city here. Uh, not on a river, which is too bad. It's just going to be a worker city for now, but it'll be pretty good eventually.
Okay, so let's let's get some. Yeah, this this gives us a band of vision in terms of. Oh, um, J Japan's or whoever's actually here. I think that's Japan. Yep. Yeah, compound lifts are the best. Sets of ten for two plates. That's good. Yeah. Uh, I did. I never liked big sets of squats because it turns into cardio if you're not careful. Okay, we meet Japan. Oh, they actually have writing. Damn it. Um, has writing. Has writing. They all have writing. Fuck me. Incans probably don't have writing. Yeah, no. So we'll just wait till we just cover Japan. Is that like the main other continent? Maybe. It's wild. Uh there's something I wanted to do out of Amsterdam. I can't remember what it was though. Uh, I didn't... Okay, there we go, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm wanting to see... Like, I'm, I, like, I know that there must be some... Let's nab the Sugar City before it... Yeah. The Settler. I think we can beat that Settler and start walling off. Good. We have the luxuries now, so we can take more warriors out of the cities without consequence. Okay, so we'll see. Does Japan have anything up on? So just horseback riding. I think the Incans had something. They have poly. Oh, they have poly. Okay. Well, you can call me polyamorous right now because these guys don't have poly. Oh, well, what the fuck? Well, they just. Okay, no. Uh, I, I do need to go for turn it. Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus. Uh, I'll get this. Don't worry. Oh, my God. Are they really going to make me do this? Oh, my God. I feel like I'm playing with exploits, even though I'm not using exploits. I guess you could call this an exploit if you wanted to. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay. And Maastricht. Yeah. Oh, it's still growing because it's egg bonus. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, just your luck, I guess. Civ 3 is a great game, so there should be plenty of content creators for it. Uh, luckily, there's a bunch of active modders, a bunch of active multiplayer community several active multiplayer communities actually yeah it's a classic what can you say build a big army and smite thee <laughs> first i gotta figure out my tech situation uh oh we got up to 27 that should do it right what the f 27 <laughs> jesus that's brutal i need to meet someone else then or okay could I just buy math with this? Yeah, that should... I might regret this, guys. This is risky. Okay, here's math. So the idea would be we go to the Incans, math and writing. Okay, thank God. Uh, I would have made myself really broke potentially there. Oh, Jesus, and it's close to. I, I did have a bit of gold per turn in the tank if I needed to, but wow, just barely. Okay, so that's that. Um, check out Japan, I guess. They got a bunch of gold on hand. Yeah, so to Japan, we take short trade math and stop ourselves from going completely bankrupt. We don't want horseback riding yet. 
we want to do chariot upgrades. So that prevents us from going completely broke. Do lit, min tech speed. Good. Egypt. Okay. Oh, we really just get gold back. I guess I can get some of my gold per turn back, and I get a lot of gold up front back. Oh, there it is. Okay. I, I just get it all back, I guess. What? Stop it. 22 specifically. Okay. Good. And then we just squeeze all the gold out of everyone else. Okay, that was a, a risky tech deal, but it paid off really big. I think it would have been okay if we bankrupted ourselves and we couldn't get poly, but uh, glad we avoid that, avoided that either way. And Mongols. Oh, they, they don't even have math. That's good. Um, I can trade the math late or poly later. Okay. Nice. Any AI wars yet? Um, not. I, I wouldn't know, right? Oh, I, I guess at this point, I got a lot of gold. I don't want them to be begging me for this gold. So let's see if we can start a war. I think Egypt will eventually be our first target. So Babylon looks like the big dogs here. Yeah. Oh, Egypt actually has more area than them. Somehow. Oh, they got a few border expands and deceit tiles and shit. Okay. Um, anyway. Let's get some embassies. Ah, Thebes is right there, I see. Good. Um, oh, I, I could pay the Mongols a tech and have them go fight Babylon or something. Ah, I don't want that, though. Anyway. So we reassign all our citizens. And then at least we'll know if there's wars. And the wars are very good things to take advantage of. So it's a good thing to know about. Okay. So I think in the hog is where we'll start building our military up. Uh, we will chop a barracks here. No risk of this flipping. Yeah, zero risk of it flipping. Right, nice, no settler yet. Okay, at some point, yeah, let's replace our Kura, actually. I think we will, yeah, we'll actually probably get a trickle of other sieves that way, but um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure that it connects, so... We'll wait and see. I think we just need the warriors here. Uh, it actually does not make it much faster. So, if I plant here, I, I guess he could still plant here. That's that's fine though. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of hard to wall off. So generally it's easy to wall off northwest, northeast, but it's hard to wall off straight west or east because you need to do this, 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 instead of just like that. So I guess the angle will be this way and then into that. Yeah. Skyrim, that's been a while. That game was wild. We really do need a good Elder Scrolls game and not like an online one. Okay, here we are. Sound the alarms. The Babylonians are coming. Crap, I think we don't have enough on hand. Ah, uh, shit. Do we have the worker? We get the worker in... Not even. Well, that needs to go up anyway.
Uh, so this one's going out there. Let's just grab this real quick. That's a good city. Guarantees us the horses. We can start roading towards the horses. Yeah. There's the chance the Egyptians, yeah, start trying to go through go through my land here. That'd be a pain to stop. Three or four. Okay, I want that. So he goes, if he goes here, I think that's ideal, actually. Oh, we should move this into position. Ah, fuck me. Uh, I, I can work with this, I think. He goes here. Oh, this has to go south. Ah, fucking coming from crawling out the walls and everything. Aha, gotcha. I will, if you block my city, I, God help me, I will plant on top of that sugar if I need to. Position him here, that's flexible. Of okay. Ha, gotcha. Okay, so this one's going here and this goes here. Good, all coming together. Got this guy coming up. This guy coming up too. Yeah, like the good news is we don't have to block off our main area, right? Either he's going here, or he's going here, and we can block off these two little subsets. We don't have to block off. Like, we don't have to block off like all of this, which was kind of what I thought when I saw this bay area. Okay, so he he did just make me plant on the sugar. Okay, buddy. <laughs> That's how it is. If you, that's how you want it to be, how we're going to do things. Blocked off, blocked off. Surprisingly block, block, blocked off, yeah. More settlers coming. Got another warrior coming out of Amsterdam. I guess we rode this and then have the connection. Nice. Yeah, I'll just go up here. That's harmless. Good. Oh, um, that's actually acceptable. Got another warrior here. Okay, this is where things get true. Okay, nice. We blocked this guy off. Yeah, things are getting kind of tricky over here. Let's get this warrior where we need him. I think we have to... Mm, we can put him on the road, but that's not good. Yeah, we have to pass the turn with the settler, actually. Oh, no, we can move this guy over. Good. And th these roads are useful to finish, too. He's going to go here, but we have the warrior coming out. This is not unhappy. Good. Yeah. I like how we just enter this phase of the game where we have to play hopscotch with these guys. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, good, good. Yeah, it's completely all done off. Good, yeah. Go around, fucker. Um... Okay, more vision, always good. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's check out China. China's got some gold for me. Great. Yeah, I'm happy to hear about that. Any simmers? It seems like they would have been, like, Skyrim was a massive hit. You'd think they'd be more quick about following up on that. I think we can just plant three cities here. Let's get to this. Let's see if we get everything else. Um, and then just one down here. Yeah. That's two settlers. One's coming out of Rotterdam. Good. And once we get those down, it's like, what can they do? Um, yeah, let's start pivoting these down, I guess. Yeah, and then that's everything. Good. Okay. So, Settler. Filling in these isn't such a issue, but we do need to guard against, like, be, be on guard for map making. Ah, okay. I think there's a three-person continent up here, and then the rest is all me. Well, this is useless. I can just put this back. Yeah, I wasted two worker moves, but it's okay. I'm guaranteeing myself city spots. This is not even needed, yeah. Okay, so this is settler, worker, at this point, what I learned from last game is that we should just transition into actually a bunch of granaries. So granaries in the Haifu cities. So I'll be arguably the hog, actually. Definitely Rotterdam. Um, do we have any other good options for granary cities? What do you guys think? I was thinking these three could be, be our big productive cities in terms of units. I guess they can do both, right? But uh, once you get to size 7, I don't want them decreasing in size. Uh, not Arnhem. Let's do it here, actually. Yeah. Okay, so this is walled off. This is Settler. Good. So this would go to Rotterdam. Let's have this go to Rotterdam. We chop, and then Rotter... Oh, no, we need Waterdam to finish uh, the fucking... I don't have to deal with this bullshit more than I have to. Great. Okay, I guess now we do the... Uh, we could really use some more work removes invested into our cap, but that's okay. Yeah, in these cities, we just need roads mostly. They're mostly worker cities, so. Yeah, a city down here would get us literally every remaining tile. Uh, fuck. uh, do I suicide or do I, there's almost certainly another Civ back there, I think. Hey, Nicholas. I mean, check out the game, right? It can be advantageous to be late sometimes. You can see some cool shit and not have to be patient to see it.
is done in 15. I think this is mostly walled off. There's no way he slipped. Yeah, he doesn't have like map making. She does not have map making. Okay, so this can just go actually straight into a granary, I think, and then Utrecht will do the, the settler. This can't flip actually, so we can just road. It's fine. Uh do we, do we do we build another Kura? No, we didn't. We did Cranary. Fuck me. Oh, okay, okay. There's a little tiny piece of coast. We'll see where that goes. I don't. I don't like having to double back with my Kuras. Okay, so this shit like this is dangerous because he can stop me from rolling off my own shit. Um, yeah, I guess this could this could flip, but not super high liability. Oh, let's hook the the horses. Yeah, I think we're doing granary and maybe straight into barracks. Okay, here's Arabs actually. Interesting. Same civ is down here. So how far? Oh, they're super far behind. Lovely. Nice, Rotterdam finishing up. Okay, we go south. We're not probably not going to find another sieve over here. Ah, oh, there's two warriors, actually. It's not really dangerous. So one thing I've realized about bigger maps is I think the because the expansion phase is extended, they're less likely to attack you earlier. I like playing on smaller maps for Sid, but I, I guess that's just not the way to go. Impressive culture there, Arabs. Look forward to never competing with you on that. <laughs> um, I actually don't really need any cities up here. Sure. I have a lot of gold on hand. Holy shit. Um, I could actually probably skip. I could go for warrior upgrades instead of settler upgrades. Or sorry, warrior upgrades instead of chariot upgrades. And that would allow me to just go ahead and do... What's it called? Uh, use a few cities for building armies. Use city close to the civs you want to wage war with. Yeah, smart. Those are both smart ideas. Any simmers. The idea is, the problem is, like, the cities that are high food are the ones you want the granary in. So, the granary only has an effect when your city grows. So, it has the biggest effect in cities that grow frequently. So, usually high food cities that you can keep at a low pop. Because, uh, cost of growing doubles when you hit size 7. Um... So yeah, the issues that is my good granary cities here are also my good barracks cities. So I'm kind of stuck a little. Don't trust myself to micro the scientist there. Perfect. Okay, lovely guys. Thank you. Really appreciate your your hard work and helping me win this game, guys. Okay, let's, um, maybe we mine this? Uh, we just, uh, I think we can mine this. Oh, no, this is forests, right? So it has no issue with production. My capital probably could use the shields, though. Uh, I think the Arabs are alone here. Yeah, I think there's like a few more civs down this way. So maybe I shouldn't be knitted and I should just do it the slow way. Nice little guarantee. There's not going to be any civs up here, yeah. 
at least maybe like some sims that are absolutely getting their ass kicked by the Arabs, but <laughs> other than that, no. Okay, great. Warrior. Uh, worker, good. Yeah, I'm going to fight a lot here. Ooh, they are fighting each other. That's nice. Um, yeah, Egyptians look pretty easy to conquer. They did get great wall or construction pretty early, so that bothers me a bit. I'm wondering if they'll beat me to great, if they'll get great wall. Okay, so does this, is this like settler barracks here? What's my angle? Uh, yeah, oh, and they finally made it over. Ah, oh, fuck, this is the wrong way. Um, up there, yeah, that's fine. And, oh, I, I could suicide this. Yeah, I'm just going to suicide that and fuck it. Maybe the hog is the one where I do my workers out of in the short term. I think in the, I actually want... I want some workers. No, you know, I, these cities will all do workers. And then Greninja is actually going to be our last um, granary city. And maybe Utrecht too. We'll see. Literally fighting each other to settle my land. Fun, guys. Yeah, that'll do a chop. Oh, I'm not wearing the cow. What am I doing? So settler. Yeah, and then straight to barracks. Oh, dies. Nice. Uh, am I imagining that I... Oh, I have dies over here. Yeah, but it's, it's healthy to have more. Fucking war chariots and shit. <laughs> Hunting down this Babylonian settler. Like, I appreciate your your gusto, guys. That's uh really where I'm at in my life at the moment, but uh I don't know, not sure it will work. At least we get some more. Oh, what? The... Okay, that's. I thought that was Greek. I like the the <laughs> alone like little spot. Very uh, chips challenge esque. If anyone in the audience gets that reference, where you like teleport to a new part of the the zone, but. Okay, this is Settler. I, I think we're done with the Settlers, right? Yeah. Okay. Again, that's fine. That was, we did not need that Kura at all. Hmm, workers. Interesting. A video on Civ 3 exploits? Um, as most of my videos aren't they? I, 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 this is a non-exploit playthrough. I don't like the exploits so much, I guess. And there's like some of them are like applicable to multiplayer, and I don't like sharing them too much. Like, if they're if they're like banned tactics in multiplayer, I, I don't like giving people ideas on how to cheat. Uh, but I feel like stuff like the outpost stuff, like I, it comes up so often in my videos that. 
Now, do I pack these really tight? I think I do, yeah. Or, you know, we'll do them loose at first. So yeah, like we'll do here and we'll fill in that for, oh no, that would be too corrupt actually. So uh, if we do here, 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 oh, and we don't get that actually. So I guess we'll just do here. Yeah, for a minimum corruption in these commerce only cities. Okay, so now we got our barracks. It's all coming together with these roads too. I love that. But you know, maybe there's like a handful that I'd like to share with you guys that I can reference. Could be a good idea. Oh, I never fixed that. Okay. Uh, do we have 20 in the box? I think we can chain slave pretty soon. Or, yeah, but just a, a double chain slave instead of a triple. I like how I, like, literally made up terms. What the fuck? <sighs> Jesus. Stop paying attention for one second, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> that's wild. Uh, <laughs> Okay, let's see if there's any more trade deals I can do. So Egypt, Vortex, yeah, I've probably been sleeping on this, but Arabs, fucking nothing. Um, but they have 125 gold for me, so. I guess taking cities is the ultimate 2-4, isn't it? So I'm not making HBR. Okay, they have HBR at this point, I should maybe be concerned. HBR construction, Zulu, construction, Philo. Oh, Philo, but not Polly. Interesting. Well, that's where we start, I guess. He's actually got a lot of gold. Let's check Egypt. They have Philo. They have Code of Law, which the other says didn't. Okay, so there's plenty of trading opportunities here. Yeah, that's that. It's a good first step. So we go Japan to Egypt and we try to get code of law. Oh, I guess we should check China and stuff and Incans. Monarchy. So that would be the big cow, big, big cash cow. But it might cost me an arm and a leg to get it. I don't, I don't think I need it either. So I think we're, we're going to avoid that. Like I could trade into I'm getting gonna get I'm gonna get these other techs anyway. I could and I cost me a bunch of gold and I couldn't get that gold back, I don't think, unless the Incans Oh, the Incans are missing Code of Law. But I don't think I can get a thousand gold for Code of Law. Let's let's see though. First we'll go to Egypt. Okay, here's an issue. Okay, there it is. So the question is like, do we ever get anything better than just having this gold? Uh, you know what? We will need code of law at some point. Uh, we will get all the texts, the gold we can figure out. We're getting 25 per turn for what it's worth. And we will get like a bunch of gold from other places. Now, at this point, we could like try something like this. Uh, well, let me trade gold. Anyway, it should be pretty easy to clean up the rest of these texts. 
So what we have, we go to Zulu, Philo and Code of Law will give us construction. What the fuck? Maybe I should have just gone for construction then. Um, No, we, uh, what I've learned from last time is we do want all these techs. We don't want to be behind in tech. I'd rather be on par with tech than in... I guess we have this window before they get pikemen, though. I don't know. It's tough to say. Okay, that's construction. Wait, does the other... Do they not have construction? Okay. Actually. Hold your horses here. I can get all of that gold back if I just get monarchy. Shit. <laughs> monarchy is worth a lot. Uh, do you have a Discord? So there is a Discord for the multiplayer community, which doubles as the Discord for my stream and for other Civ 3 multiplayer streamers. Uh, there is a link to the Discord in the description of this video, if I'm not mistaken, Pilsy. Definitely check it out. There's also a single-player Discord where people run play-by-email games. It's a lot of fun if you're interested in play-by-email. Um, yeah, and Civ Fanatics, obviously, is a great discussion forum if you like Civ 3 or other Civ games. Germans with the tanks, Dr. Crackwurst. Uh, in this game, you got like on Sid, you got to really have tempo, right? You can't be waiting that long for your golden age, and you can't be waiting that long for making offensive plays. So uh, Germans are, they're not the worst Civ, actually. On, eh. on an archipelago map, I think I could work with them. They have two usable traits, I'll say, which some of the traits are just not usable on Sid. Like expansionist... I'll wait, arguably scientific, right? Because I'm, I'm not really teching, right? I'm not really, I wouldn't benefit from the cheap libraries. Okay, uh, so we have two options. You know what, let's try this. We got a lot of crap cities now, so we can actually raise a lot of revenue this way. Sorry, reven this is like hypothetical revenue, right? Because we're not actually going to starve our cities to get this. But the AI thinks we're we have this money. We they think we have fifty gold per turn coming in, so they think, oh, you're you're good for it, right? We'll loan you some money or take your credit. Okay, so that's that. Go to Incans. We offer them fifty five gold per turn, fifty eight gold per turn, and three techs. It's not working, guys. Okay, that's fine. Uh, remind me to fix... Don't end turn without fixing this catas catastrophic situation of our finances. Arabs, nothing. Mongols, oh. So I can offer philosophy. Right, this just gives me a gold infusion up front. I've already given philosophy to the Zulu and the Egyptians. Oh, I, I guess Babylon has doesn't has not received philosophy. Oh, they have gold per turn. Interesting. Yeah, helps me get some shit back. Wait, oh, this is. I'm feeling some here. Something in the air, yeah, guys. One seventy one. Good. How much do they have? No. So there's like a maximum is like a, a formula for what the maximum is that they would do. It looks like that maximum is. Huh. One of the keys on my keyboard is actually kind of like when you press into it, it kind of stays locked. I wonder if there's a fix for that. Okay, yeah, I could get the extra four gold per turn if I gave them 
code of law. But I think that, that passing away code of law devalues the tech, and I want to broker it to the Incans for monarchy. Let's go through every single sieve. Oh, China, still China. So Incans have philosophy, right? Oh, no, and I'm devaluing the tech. Fuck me. Okay. Um, they have poly, though. So I can get poly. I'll get map making. Map making will come at some point. Incans, Japan. I probably worth squeezing out the gold for code of law from Japan. So like the net goal at the end of the tunnel is we get all this gold back from Egypt by doing a deal where we buy monarchy. Jesus, <laughs> how expensive is this tech? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, uh, looks like that's not happening. It looks like we've assembled a pretty decent amount of gold as it is, including some gold per turn, which is good. Wait, there's, there's one more thing we could do, I think. Oh, yeah, we could buy Kota Law from Japan. Who they definitely have contact with. Oh, they give us gold per turn too. Again, this is like, we could use this to get monarchy, but this is just like a good amount of gold to have for our upgrades. And it kind of replaces the gold we spent on Egypt. And monarchy is not needed for your advancement, right? So this is optional. But the idea of getting that gold back is just so desirable to me. Uh, thank you for the reminder, Imagine I'm not done my turn yet. Uh, we're still going here, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Okay, so now we have 1,028 gold. Still doubt. More gold per turn. We're still doubt. We can't even make it to getting close. Yeah, this is very clearly not happening. Okay. Uh, let's actually manipulate with Japan. So what does Japan have? They have all my techs, actually. <laughs> um, so the Incans are just going to trade monarchy, probably, for these techs from Japan. So I'll get map making while I can. I told you I'd get it sent one way or another. China will eventually give me horseback riding. Uh, nope. Nothing there. Oh, wait, Babylon. Um, I can get four more gold per turn or something, right? Three. Arabia, no. Okay. So Egypt just has some of my gold. That's fine. I'm, I'm doing really well off of that trade. What should I do if it's really early in the game and my cities are growing way too fast? I don't get a lot of shields to build. Settlers or workers, they're always way too crowded. Way too crowded just means... So any citizen past the first, second, third, or fourth, depending on your difficulty, will be unhappy. That's what it's way too crowded. It's not meaning your cities are too big. It's just saying the source of the unhappiness in your city is because it's an additional citizen. That's just the cost of growing in Civ 3, that the new citizen will be unhappy. So use the Luxury Slider. If you're not getting enough money through the Luxury Slider, build workers, and then the workers will road the tiles, and the roaded tiles will give you more commerce to put into lux the Luxury Slider. Okay. Um, last thing on my list was... Oh, Babylon. Yeah, I'm just going to get the three gold per turn. Four gold per turn? No, three. Okay. So I think let's put this back at 20 or something. We might need 30% here. I don't know how much the 30% would fix, but 
we definitely still have some unhappy cities. Okay, uh, that's fixed. Yeah, it looks like most of these are fixed. Am Amsterdam's fixed, importantly. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, I did, thank you for the reminder about Jed. I did fix my things. Have I played Mountain Blade Warband? Uh, I've played like a, I, I've never got too far in the Mountain Blade, no. I, I've installed it and played it, but haven't done too much with it. Okay, so at this point I can do Chariots. This is like Chariot per three as opposed to Warrior per two. I think that's a, a better deal. There are still more sieves on the map, as a reminder. Okay, so this is done. Oh wait, this hasn't grown yet. Oh, because I passed the fucking tile over. Jesus. Let's get a let's get a mind. Yeah, lovely. So one, two, three, good. So this one's going here. Stake out the land. We can fill that in later. Oh, oh, we, we do need to settle, actually. Shit. Because they're going to send boats. Wait, we got one on the way. Uh, I guess this is another settler. So yeah, one's going here, one's going here, and that actually does it. Yeah, we're good. Let's make this a barrack city. I guess that should be expected. A fuck, and Egypt gets the Great Wall. Fuck, why does Egypt always get construction in the Great Wall? Like, is there... Is that, like, an industrious thing? Is it, like, their AI programming? Where they prioritize some things? This is going to be hard to fucking take out. Okay, so I guess our goal is to... We can't use our RD stack here. And it's in their cap, right? We can't really blitz their cap because it's far up. I think we should just get the border cities and then keep them small, and that's that's it. And then we oh wait for metallurgy. Yeah, just get two cities, wait for metallurgy, and then go for their stuff. Uh, fuck this guy. Trying to squeeze in right here. No, that's not happening. Let's... Oh, we could do another worker, and then we can get the... Yeah, I feel like that extra worker will help a lot. Then we've chopped the barracks. Okay, so at this point, we can do the... Double slave on the ground, or the temple. Okay, um, so this one goes down here, and that does it, yeah. Nice, we have more happiness here, because of the, the road to our luxuries. You missed the most important part? What was the important part that you missed, F. Pavic? There's lots of important parts. Nice. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, we filled this in. Good. He can still keep going for our Tundra, but I think we get there before he does. None of these are... It's another advantage of not playing against any Seafaring Civs. Uh, we're technically leaving a hole here. Oh, well, we can fix that like that. Yeah. Great. Japan still does not have monarchy, interestingly. And you're still missing code of law. Okay. Ah, the expansion phase. The expansion phase is fun. I like it. it it's kind of brutal on Sid to a certain extent. Okay, so catapults do not actually help here because we're fighting a walled Civ. I think they're still fighting too. Hmm. Where's this going? Is Settler... 
There's nowhere he can plant. Yeah, I, I don't know what he's doing. Should be going home. If, if not, he's wasting his time. Okay, nice. Get those gems. Lovely. We're not actually too far from one returning warriors and Rotterdam. down. We need another Yeah. Irrigated tile. Uh we could do uh no, we want we just want as many chariots, veteran chariots as possible, ASAP. Mongols have a damaged horse. Should I be scared of that? Like, it would be okay if these city, like, if Arnhem flipped. It's about to get its border expand, so that'd be a shame, but. Jesus, the double. Maybe I do need a temple here. Didn't expect the, the double border expand. Oh, this one we, we're actually pretty close to slaving. Three, it's a... Ah, we can road this way. That'll be useful for supplying our troops. Skipping the river. Oh, open, open land there. Yeah, so this gives us the gems. We have one, two, three, four, five foreign tiles. Yeah, let's actually load warriors into there to reduce the chance of a flip. You don't want to load good units because if you flip, you lose your units. In fact, I'm not really scared of... we go nice i did not expect us to get all the, like this is my best case scenario is we get all this crap <laughs> we just got it hmm this land is all unclaimed i guess china's gonna be big that's okay because china's actually behind Okay, I um, think we can go down here. Yeah, now that we have all this locks hooked, we got another one coming in. Um, yeah. More civs at war, always good. I think maybe vet swords onto abidos actually might be the way to go. I wonder. Where are these last civs? So if we check the F keys, which is very easy to do on this new keyboard, thank God. So um, we have not met the Russians. We have not met the Americans. We haven't met the Germans. Yeah, that's three civs we have not met. I, if I just plant here, actually, that's enough to dissuade him. Send her home. Good, good, nice little road here. Give us some extra commerce, as well as help our military supply lines. I actually like our river positionings. You see what's going on here, where it's like... We can actually, aside from this river down here, 
We can bypass around there. Can bypass kind of over here eventually. We can go around here to go around this river. We still have a lot of rivers, but they're not completely blocking our movement as much as they could be. Sure. This would actually give us happiness. There's yeah, there's no way that Tokugawa has contact with the other continent. I I don't think. So the, the risk is that they kind of bait other people into a war with you. Like they sorry, they make military alliances against you. Although I we're probably looking to fight those people anyway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the 87 gold and I'm gonna take the free happiness. Oh, also we can't trade with Tokugawa, but I don't think this is a period of the game where we need a like a bunch of trading partners. Yeah. Let's risk it. I don't know. Maybe it's kind of dumb. Wait, I wonder, like, would catapults work on a size 7 city if they have a great, like, uh, great wall? I'm not sure. Be interesting if it did. Uh, I like having these workers around here just when I need to hook the iron on demand. I can just go go and upgrade. Oh, there's America. Okay, that answers our question as to where the last civ is. I guess Incans. Okay, so wait, who has a great lighthouse? Zulu. Okay, so if I just um, embassy the Zulu. All right, that will tell me who he has contact with. And at the moment, he doesn't have contact with the Japanese. Good. Let's keep it that way. Okay, I, I think oddly we're more in danger of being flipped by the uh, Babylonians here, despite having the shorter border. But you know, when the Egyptians get pikes, this is not going to get any easier. Like the three to two ratio you get at the start of this era is just so good that I think we should just go for warriors here. Yeah, we can just one per turn in Rotterdam. We can crank these out so fast. Uh, we got a couple chariots on hand. See, they're they're still. I don't think I don't see what you guys are doing. Okay, here's America. And he just has free gold for me. Great. Okay, so the goal is we just rode up here. Oh, he's going to get the border expanded in Abido soon. Um, I guess we'd need him in Rotterdam too then to match. He's had that for a while. And here Acropolis will definitely just be able to walk right up and slap him with our warriors. You know what? We'll, we'll take our time with Abidos. That's fine. We should be able to get both cities at the same time. Should not be an issue. Uh, this city shouldn't flip. It's so close to my cap and has a couple units in. And it's only two foreign tiles. Uh, yeah. Huh. Where did we get the temple? We got the temple in Eindhoven. Okay. We could actually just do reg, reg warriors aren't the worst thing in the world. Ah, next turn we can enslave the temple in Middleburg too. Good. Huh. Oh, good. I got his gold before. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Uh, down to the wire there. Uh, again, this. Um, I think we prioritize the temple just to stop the 
Because if they have foreign tiles, even though technically, even if, if I just have 10 culture, zero chance of this flipping ever, unless I join a foreign worker or something. Uh, but... Until I get 10 culture, he can get the triple border expand and, and do that. Which is a theory, which is a threat in theory. So barracks, temple. This is good. And we'll do catapult here. Like just he's gonna send some crap around here. I've got some stuff to buy time. Okay, how big is Germany and our Germany and Russia? Um they have monarchy. It's weird that what what the AI does when you leave them alone. They they tech differently, I've noticed. Okay, that seems like a bargain. I, I can... Yeah, I don't know how many other civs on my continent have... have monarchy, but I think it's not that many. And I still get my... I can easily get horseback riding and my gold back. Okay. Good, that does that. Wow, this game is much better than the last one. The last one was pretty good, too, so I'm impressed. Are we at war right? No, we're not at war at all, any simmers. But we're, we got 1730 gold, and we're about to get a bunch back from Egypt, I suspect. No, they have monarchy. They actually have republic, too. Um, I wonder if I can get this off another sieve. Looks like I can get, get some more gold. Not as much as I want, though. Okay, here we go. Here's the big bucks. Could get Republic. I think there will be an opportunity later to maybe get Republic. Ah, okay, now I can't trade. Yeah. Um, but I got the 87 gold. That's the important part, right? Absolutely. Okay, upgrade the chariots. In case it matters in the short term. We can get a second dies and also take them away from Egypt. I like that. Got a lot of vet warriors. Oh, we get our gems next turn. Nice. So I guess we could road this. I don't know how quickly that expands, though. I don't want to, like, yeah, that would actually fuck me if uh, we'll do this so we have some flexibility. You know what? I, I think we hooked the, it's time, guys. We, we hooked the iron. And here's the gems. So that's us turn down our luxury slider quite a bit. Okay. A bunch of workers are done their shit. We should have this in three, I believe. Uh, one of those might have been, I think, yeah, it's only six to Rhoda. Oh, I forgot the road there. Silly me. Massive SID stacks, of course, naturally. <laughs> I believe these guys are still at war, though. Are they losing cities up here? They're not. No. In fact, it seems like kind of a bit of a dead front. One catapult. <laughs> Good place to start. Oh, well, let's uh, rotate some of these warriors over here. Might need to unhook the iron, so we'll leave that up.
Remember, extra worker is always good. We learned that from last game. We didn't actually get this, but we did get these few tiles back. Does this is this one per turning? I think it can one per turn if I pass the cow. Okay, so that's growth. Or sorry, they they got currency now. It's one per turn. Ah, uh, doesn't actually get me that close. Kind of like this, though. This makes Rotterdam a super good city. Let's at least give ourselves the option to upgrade all of these. Okay, this river actually kind of pisses me off. I wonder if we're going to have enough up front to... Take this out. We definitely have the gold. We don't have like the, the biggest abundance of gold, but we have enough to do what we want to do, I think. Took that advice on workers and started taking my base workers from mine. Solid advice. Um, raising cities also just gives you free workers. So if you're not going for a Diplo victory, consider that. Yeah, let's actually bring more of these over. I think Heracropolis is the more important target. You know what? We're going to road that. I guarantee the border is going to expand like right now, but... Okay, I'd consider this actually a currency. Um, so let's do our upgrades. Okay, that's actually not bad. Ah, fuck, that's a mistake, but <laughs> whatever. It frees up a horseman at least. Um... Right now, do more warriors, I guess. So we can grab currency. Currency. Oh, she's lit. Fuck me. Um, yeah, maybe I should have just gone, done currency in, in 50. I think that might have worked out better. Babylon does not have currency for what it's worth. Has lit. Oh, has lit, but no. Okay, that's a freebie, basically. Uh, I wish I had actually more... Because there could be like a single spearman in, in the boat and that could fuck up my empty cities. Let's send one of these horses down here. Okay, um, do we want to upgrade the regs? I don't think we do. Yeah, these regs are just supposed to buy time, kind of. We'll switch into Republic and they'll just get disbanded. Till then, we they're pretty cheap to replace with normal warriors. Or I could just upgrade the regs. 
Um, that actually might make more sense, and then I could do more specialized units, like horsemen. I could just build a sword, swordsman. Could do temples here. I don't really need anything, right? I think I've got what I need to win right now, right here. Let's just do warriors to make them a bit better. Good, okay. So the question is, do I... So if I kicked Egypt out of my land, they're only annoyed with me. If I you insult them a bunch, there's ways to piss them off. I'm just demanding things over and over again. But I, I need the guaranteed war with Egypt, so I'm just going to declare war on them. No trickery or anything like that. I think this technically needs to be a temple too. Damn. Uh, should we should get that tile? I think. No, I'm not sure. I want to enter the next era though, huh? That's that's tough. You know what, if, if Zula will give me currency for the gold I have on hand, I think I should take that. Good. Eighteen, nine, ten. Good, okay, that's currency. I'm in the next year. I still need to figure out how to get Republic, um, but at least I'm, I don't know, doing frickin' engineering per 50. Let's see what Babylon got for free. Oh, Babylon is actually not in the next era yet. Uh, but I don't think I can profit over. I can get incense for a bit. That might be worth something. Now, probably better just to slow down the progression of technology by. Kind of want Great Library to be on my con. I don't think it's being built yet. So I don't want to give that away. So that's Incans. Japan's still at war. Yeah, Germany just flat out conquered another Civ. I think in the long run they will be a strong competitor. Oh, there's Mongols. I think I'm not going to get anything from holding monarchy over their heads. Okay. So I'm playing against two uh, scientific Civs, Babylon and Germany, I believe. Markets. Markets are just fucking good. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we'll just do markets. Um, Rehook the iron and then do markets. Temple. Uh, I guess this is worker. This is a granner. No, we didn't do the granner here, actually. Maybe it's... Okay, yeah, there we go. I, no, please don't. Okay, jeez. I, I can't promise to her, like, oh, we'll get out of your land, because then that screws my rite of passage reputation. And so I don't want her asking me if I can if I can get out. Where's this going? Ah, I wish I knew. I think deep down we all want to just want to know where we're going. Okay, let's declare one Egypt. Oh no, we need to wait a turn. We got these swordsmen on hand. I wonder if there's like a city. Oh, there's a cow there. Oh, that's a relevant factor. Okay. Now, do these cities get raised, or do they get captured? I think I, 
I think early you you raise and then after that you capture. That's how it works. The first bunch of cities should be raises because you just absolutely cannot deal. Oh, we need here. We need settlers. That's what we need to do. Okay, let's see where this goes. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Mongols declared war on Babylonians. So everyone's at war with Babylon. Eh, what? That's a bit of a wash. Babylon's a strong civ, I guess. It's probably good civs on my continent can't trade. He seems to be slaving himself and his cap pretty down, down pretty low. Anyway, uh, let's let's actually, yeah. So we declare war on Egypt right now. guess I will keep this here. Yeah, I, I'm worried about them, like, sneaking in a war chariot or something. And screw me over. Okay, we got the border expand here. That's nice. These are going to be good cities once they grow. They, they grow pretty slowly, but... Eh, I mean, it's faster than most. That's being egg for you. They're river cities. I like I'm just so confident that I'm not even building military units anymore. <laughs> like, yeah, we got this unlock. Okay, um I kinda wanna try out the catapults on the size seven city and see if that works. It might fuck me, but I think I'm good for I'm I'm trying to learn. The point of these games is to learn. I'm okay if I mess up certain things. Yeah, like the downside is they could kill. I got eleven swords here. Maybe he kills a couple. But with with just reg spears, I, I think I should be fine to take the city. Now the question is, does does she have iron? And I think when I was trading with her, I never saw the option for her to pass me iron. So I think she doesn't. Let's put a grand here and have this be our worker city. Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, that was exactly what I was worried about. Shit. <laughs> Aren't you at war with, like, one other person at least? I know that's not much. Oh, no, she's at peace with Babylon. Okay. Do I need to bring Babylon into this, then? Well, I have a way of doing it. Yeah, it's a 20-turn commitment. I think that's fine. I can work with that. I'm not even a republic yet, so... Is the point of the game where I can do these commitments. Okay. She's also blocking the fucking hills there, infuriatingly. He's in the next year. Let's see what his free tech is for the record. Feudalism. I think that's good. Oh, she took my workers. Okay. Uh, she did attack me a bit too. Oh, fuck off. I, I can't take the city now. I'm, I'm too damaged and I need to get over that. While she's wailing on me. Okay. Okay, it actually does work if they're size 7. Yeah, it's just when they're size 6 or less with Great Wall that they can't defend. It's not even that hard to take cities, you know? Okay, so raise the city. Okay, so she does have one here. Make use of these reg warriors. Don't want to get cut off here. I'll keep this. Don't want her like landing on this tile, for example. Uh, there's already a worker there, so I don't think that's possible, but just in case. I mean, it is. Not, sorry, I will tell you, it is not possible. <laughs> uh, but when, yeah, like once I move the worker, maybe it would be.
Okay, um, some slave workers, that's nice. We kept both of these guys alive. We can probably walk these here. We'll wait for the catapults. The, the double catapult was actually kind of useful. Yeah, I guess she wasn't at war with anyone, so her big stack has now been mobilized. Hopefully she'll send something against Babylon, Babylon, but maybe it's... Hope I didn't miss a window or something. And she just passed the stack at me, and now they're destined to be there? I don't know. That's still going to be Temple, don't worry. I'm tempted to like walk on the mountain just for vision. You know what, I'll get all these workers eventually. Okay, so this is a big area. I like the city spot right here, because when it grows, no chance of a flip. So let's do that. I think at five pop, I can technically do a Colosseum with a the trick. God, that trick is gonna make me bank. Okay, that's she just has a lot of war chariots. Jesus fuck. Ugh. Without engineering, like she has to cross over the river, so without engineering, it's not too scary. But ah, God, uh, I could do that. that okay here's our temple and greninja god the, the chain slaving is so useful for preventing early culture flips Ah, uh, Giza's on a hill. Okay, that's going to be our big raid boss, I think. We can't take that out just yet. I don't think we really need to. Um, yeah, it's not providing flip threat to any of our cities. We could plant one here, and then that would get us within doubling distance. Oh, it's it's still Reg Swordsman, yeah, or Reg Spear. I think we should do that while we have the chance, so. Ah, uh, it's a lot to... Fuck. <laughs> Um, Settler, okay, in Delft. Great. So we're just going to hang out and regroup once we have the plant. Chariots, chariots. Yeah, they're good units. Um, people sleep on them. So this is Settler here in the Hog. Where's the Settler going? We could plant like on the forest here and then double onto Abidos. I think this actually needs to be Swordsman, yeah. Okay, now we can trade away Lit to Germany without issue. He's broke. I, I don't know if I traded something, but it doesn't matter. Nice, we got an elite. Is that... Okay, I, I thought that was a settler, that he like already had one on hand to replant. That would have been a pain in the butt. So no, we're just planting. Oh, we're we are doing two cities actually. Um, crap. I guess one one's coming from Eindhoven. That was a good pick, right? We're we're pretty big. Seven percent next to the ten of Japan. I don't know how Japan's so big, but um, 
we don't have border expands too. So we're, we're once we have that, we should be pretty damn big. Fucker. Where did my stack? I, I had a stack. Did he attack into my city or something? Where's my stack? Unreal, and he just retreats. Look at this. He just retreats. War chariots are so good. Do not trust any... Buddy who says in Civ 3 that they're not good. My stack just melted. Okay, I can probably save a bunch of gold by doing. Let's do like a scientist here. Yeah. Okay. I still have my main stiff. Even that one got smaller. What what the fuck happened? The stack but but did it was there like something I missed where it died, or did it just like get whittled away and I didn't really care? And this is like a 20 turn war, right? This is not like a short little in and out to grab a city or two and then reposition. God, I, I need horses, but I, I think I lost all my horses too. Fuck off. Okay, at least. And then there's just more. Like every time I send the sword, sword swordsman out to clean this up, I just lose the swordsman. Because of the mobility. Yeah, placing against the mobility is rough. At least he has no iron, but it's not much. It's a size 7 city, right? He can't attack into that very easily. make this yeah this these can use hills if they need production it's a lot of territory exactly yeah it was a strong game um i messed up I, I thought the babylonians and the egyptians were at war i didn't see them make peace at some point so i just i, I attacked into them and they I, I got a city here but they were ready on this front and they cut me off and i kept one elite so uh sword i oh, know that's not elite let's throw them away yeah it's so weak in these cities that's the, the shitty thing that i know it'd be easy to take them out oh god if i had feudalism for example if i could build my uu i, I don't want a golden age now but yeah This is this is brutal. Yeah, I, I can't really do much here. I, I can't even really safely plant the city. Okay, my wait, my swordsman have healed up. Good. And I, I can use the reg warriors I have on hand. Yeah, these horsemen are clearly needed sorely. Broader and we'll finish the marketplace and then they can do other stuff. Um I need this roaded. Maybe that. At the very least, this like baits the enemy into my land. Maybe I just deal with the replant later and he's got great wall too, so it's not even like especially easy. Like I do need swords if like he replants this. Okay, and here's my market. This will get me more gold, and I can use the gold for upgrades. It's just not more efficient than, yeah, you know, it's like three more gold after the maintenance costs. Not much. Um, 
almost doing one per, 15 shields per turn is the big break point, right? Oh crap. I, I just need just need to meet Russia. Russia might be over here actually. Does the Coliseum actually even get me anywhere? I have five pop. Um, I can wait till I have ten. The yeah, that won't actually be that long until I have ten in the box. Odds for great military leader? I think one in one forty or something. If you're not militaristic, you can look it up for me. It's it's not a lot. God, I, I wish this was defensible terrain, too. Okay. Yeah, like, I'm losing a sword per turn here. Yeah, I need to move these spears up. He's not going for these weak cities. He's doing something with these boats, though. Fuck these boats. Oh, my God. Uh, one of those is Mongol. I don't get... Put a warrior over the diamonds. Here? He'll just kill it. What's what's the point? I, I... Oh, shit. This one. <laughs> uh... He, he might still kill him. Uh, at least this will retreat. Yeah, I need this to be my land, so we can't just like be using my roads. In fact, if I plant this, even with the border expand, yeah, that's that's fine. Yeah, I could actually plant two cities. This is yeah, this is a triple border expand. This is triple border expand. So there's actually a huge hole in his empire here that I can exploit. Uh, did I or did I not do it? The settler made its way over here. Yeah, I think I need to push my stacks together and then push onto Giza. Yeah, down two more units. I got kind of lucky there. I really hope Babylon's helping me out. And there's the replant. Fuck, okay, so I'm up no cities in this war. We're going for Giza. And now he's pulling me... Pulling me west. Um, this is a bit further back than the last one. It, we're, I get more tiles. Yeah, so the city goes here. Giza is going to get raised. Finally, Amsterdam will produce something. These markets, I was so cocky with the markets, man. One in sixteen without and with oh so it'd be one in thirty two if you're not militaristic right one in sixteen but that's if yeah it's if you're militaristic I'm I'm not militaristic here <laughs> fuck oh god don't do this to me game Jesus holy shit what a fucking coup okay um.
That should be fine. Yeah, I should be able to. I, I should have repositioned my units. I got good RNG. And this is a hill. Yeah, he can only. And then my. What is his face? Will come into play too. Okay, so we have an MGL. We can finally use that to take good trades. So that's going here. Good. No. <laughs> um, yeah, we just need to clean up. That should be fine. Good. And we guard, and that should hold the city. That should hold the gems. Should hold the hog. I could even use the MGL if I wanted to. Yeah, that's the issue. We can't be pulling units out here. Yeah, we, let's, we need the worker wall off down south. So let's, let's start working on that. Get the workers out of Mastodict. Okay, so barracks, Gran. Coliseum is 80 or is that 100? No, I think Coliseum is 100. Hilarious. No, oh, fuck. Coliseum is actually 120. What a shit building. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys build this thing? Anyway. Get these in for like the defensive bombard and shit. We got a few catapults, yeah. We're not gonna plant just yet. We actually need the horseman. Uh, we lost our horse, our hero horseman, actually. Funnily enough. Uh, this one needs to be pulled out, though. Cannot do any more of these shitty warriors. We can just, like, slave archers, though, if we need to. Uh, if we were catapulting these, we could, like, slave veteran galleys, too. It would be good. But our catapults are not in position, and the river is kind of awkward. Two rivers that block the movement of the catapults. <laughs> oh, RIP that warrior. <laughs> Maybe they're pathing for the empty city. Maybe it's just because the city is empty and that's why they're pathing for it. No, that's not fun, but... Okay, don't get tricked by this. Uh, this actually... Okay, Babylon's finally pushing in. Okay. Nice. Be able to rotate over here. And was that land? Did he land that? Like the angle makes me think he landed it. And if he landed it, that's okay. I'm just wondering if he didn't land it, how on earth did he get there without me noticing? Should be fine, yeah. I don't even know what, where the fuck this guy's going. Uh, there's a sword in there. I actually do have a catapult. Two catapults, even. Hmm. You know what? Slay That's what they're for. That's what the... 20 turn till that unhappiness is gone is a pretty good deal. It also just sucks how I raised the city, and I, I got, got like, the, the downsides of raising the city in terms of diplomatic penalty, and I don't get any of the benefits. 
because he just replants. Definitely frustrating. Uh, watching you play makes me feel like you just bought the game two weeks ago in terms of how much I know or in terms of like you feel like, oh, I'm so excited for this game. I really hope it's the second, but it might be the first too. We're not at 15 shields per turn. Okay. Uh, so the plant would go... This is actually... We could use the army to claim the gems, maybe? Like, having this roted would like much, make it much easier to rotate and guard all these cities. Let's just see how the coin drops. Whatever. Oh. I like how there's only one thing in these galleys. Jeez. Okay, so I'm just going to mop this up. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's go plant. Gonna get that cow. That should make him fuck off. He just fucked off for for God knows what reason. I could not possibly explain it to you. We'll put a few cat. Yeah, you know what? Just two catapults here for defensive bombard on the new city should be enough. Uh, and in fact, this might allow us to get a kill on the the spear. Yeah. Uh, we do need the settler over here. Yeah, we can actually plant this pretty soon. Good. Okay, how close are we to... I think if we pass the cow over... Yeah, that's, that works well. Lovely. Cocky planting? I don't think so. I think this is pretty measured. I need a way in to Giza. And I need to, specifically, I need a way to take my catapults into Giza without having to like walk my stack slowly over land. So the cocky thing would be to do would be to not plant. Haha. -ha. Did you think about it that way? <laughs> it's a bit cheeky, though, definitely stealing the cow. Okay, it's just our, yeah, that's should be fine to rotate. I, I had a swords. Okay, I still have the mini swordsman stack here. That's good. Mongols too, Jesus. They're still at war with Babylon though, right? So I, I don't think that's of concern, but bad omens, man. Okay, let's see Japan. Fuck, has feudalism. We need some settlers down south. Okay, here's the new city spot. So the idea is I rotate the army. Fully swordsmen. Got lots of spears. And pull all the catapults too, crucially. I guess I'm going for Giza first. You know what? We'll take the settler and we'll use it to replant Giza. We, we do need like a bunch of settlers here, actually. But like, because he doesn't have iron, we don't need that much to clean up the cities themselves.
<laughs> Take that. If it makes him go home and retreat, that's lovely. I'm not sure it will, but I'm a man who likes to dream. You shouldn't feel garbage. I've been playing this game for, for 20 years. I, I do play this game a lot. I play a lot of multi- Jesus, like, this is embarrassing. Uh, so this is just on Steam. Currently, I've played 7,000 hours. And I, I played a lot of multiplayer and single player on... I've only had it on Steam for five or six years, and I've been playing it for 20. Yeah, he, he does just straight go home. Okay, I don't like this because he can potentially cut the dies. You know, I've got a few dies. Yeah, it's not like I'm exporting to them in anyone them to anyone even, so... You know what, if we put a city here... Okay, that, that would overlap with Abidos a bit, but we're planning to kill Abidos too, so no big deal. Uh, starting to get dicey here still. Nice. That's Emperor in 200 hours is pretty good. Don't feel bad about that. That's that's really strong. That's like more than halfway through the difficulties, Matt. <laughs> Imagine if you got to Sid in 400. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Uh, it it kind of scales exponentially a little bit. Uh, at least it depends how you're learning, right? If you're learning efficiently, it'll be exponentially more difficult. But it becomes easier to learn the game the, the more you play it, I feel. On um, There used to be, there wasn't a ton of resources for learning how to get good. Now you struggle on Demigod. I, Demigod, I struggle on Demigod a lot. Depends on the land you get. Wheeled vehicles can, they can cross forests, Loki. Um, and if they're eroded, they can cost whatever. They can't cross jungle or volcanoes or marsh, though. Fall of Rome is... Oh, Fall of Rome. Okay. I, uh, Rise of Rome is a bad scenario, but Fall of Rome is whatever. Okay. He's... Doing something here. So... Three war chair. Okay. I think he. What did he attack into here? Oh, he attacked into the city. Huh. With the archer. Well, my Babylon bros over here are kind of blocking things off. Go home. Yeah, this is a nice soft section of his empire. I don't even really have to commit that much. I can probably take some of these reg swords over. God, he grows so fast. Uh, it is Sid. Anyway, so when we're done with this, we can just rotate back to Pithom, raise that. We are ready to replant, too. We brought a settler with us. Okay, so once we're done this war, we're going to switch into Republic. I don't know how we're going to get Republic. It might be a pain in the butt. Uh, if I could just get any of the... You know what? If I get, like, monotheism or something like that. I can trade it for Republic, maybe. Yeah, and that's the other thing, too. Uh, I mean, yeah, having 
there's a lot of ways to have fun without getting better at the game. <laughs> in fact, there's some games I play where it's like, wow, after that game, I feel like I'm worse at this game now, but it's still a lot of fun. <laughs> Pretty regular occurrence on stream, to be honest. <laughs> uh, but I do a lot, learn a lot from my streams too. So. Okay, this is getting unacceptable. What the fuck? What the hell? Did Babylon make peace or something? Uh, no, they're okay. Well, we get Giza. It's on a hill. This might be a little too tricky. But we can only weaken their unit. I don't know how many spears. Okay, yeah, that's, you've got three spears and they're two health now. So don't waste the elites. I guess we use the army. Huh. Now we use the elites. Huh. Yeah, so that gets raised. And it gets replanted. Wait, we could take his horses away. If that, is that his only horses? No, he's got another. Okay, well, no point in prioritizing that then. It's a good spot for a city. Like, I might abandon this one later. Uh, six workers can do a one per turn road. Let's get rid of this. Nice. Got an elite. They really just do not give a shit about these. Why don't... Is it because there's just the one war? No, this city does not even have one war. <laughs> Arlingen? What the fuck? <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay. Um, clean that up. Okay, you... Got a big stack. Yeah, that's concerning. I need fucking catapults here with this kind of war of attrition. It's annoying. Yeah, God, I love how ba far back the uh, fanatic center stuff goes. There's some real uh, fun gems of the old internet. Okay, so I think if we pass the cow off, We actually, yeah, we get the extra shield. We can do like an, a vet spear. Yeah, vet spear is pretty good. I like that. Trying to find mm, about the swordman strategy has mentioned. I have 18 cities producing heavy cavalry. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Do you mean the upgrade strat where I upgrade a bunch of veteran warriors? So I traded for a bunch of gold and I can upgrade the... <sighs> Here comes... If they're... If they're willing to make peace with me, maybe soon they'll make peace with Babylon. This is... Uh, these are actually kind of sitting ducks. So I can do like the one health ones will not retreat. So you actually attack those first. Oh my god. Unreal. Okay, we oh no, he's still got this. If I think we just let the war chariot heal up. Okay. Um. So the workers go here. 
we kind of let him just chill. This could technically flip, but we're rewarding him away from... Yeah, I think we can risk that for a turn. Okay, let's move our catapults over. Yeah, this is fertile land for catapult production. <laughs> Uh, but not really for anything else, I guess. You know what? Let's get our temple here. We want the unhappiness gone as soon as possible, so better to slave it sooner than later. And we have the population on hand. He wants to tag into this with veteran archers or reg archers or whatever he's got. Oh, he's got one veteran there. Hmm. Wild. Okay. So hopefully this will fuck up his pathing because now I have no empty cities. Or maybe he'll go around to this empty city. That'd be hilarious. Okay, uh, engineering in 33. We're really we're waiting for either our deal to expire. Or when's this going to expire? Six, yeah, we, we either have to wait out six turns. I think that's doable. Not fun. Yeah, either wait out six turns or uh, in, in, if they make peace with each other. This is... Oh, but I'm, I'm, I'm not allied against the Zulu, though. So I can make peace with the Zulu without any penalty in my diplomacy. Please just get off my fucking dies, guys. Uh, okay, so Pithom is actually size seven now, so the catapults work. This city grew so over the course the course of this war. I destroyed the city. He took a few turns to replant, and he grew the city to size fucking seven, because that's what they do on Sid. They just grow that fast with floodplains land. Oh, and she's probably also government switched too. Ah. No, I think we need that. No, oh, no, this is fine. Yeah. Okay. Don't know what the fuck is going on here. I should have done a temple ages ago, I guess. Those are all defensive units. Getting a lot of core worker moves done over here, though. Uh, yeah, I can make peace with Zulu. He's pathing towards empty cities. I think if we fill the empty cities, that improves the pathing issue, right? Okay, these all have units in them now. Hundred gold. I'd pay a hundred gold. We can put this in here. Let's just get rid of literally every empty city, and then. Sorry, <laughs> um, not get not literally get rid of um, unempty the empty cities. <laughs> uh, sorry, I, I think we actually can't un unempty 
this one here, Tilburg. We could. Oh, actually, that's fine. Yeah, it's not a two mover. Oh, we just move some warriors over or something. That's fine. Uh, do we have the settler on hand? We do need a settler on hand. Oh my god, we don't have the settler on hand. Okay. Where were we planting? We planted one here. Oh, we planted the, these two are both technically new plants. Uh, let's grab some workers together. We just need three, right? And we can get the temple in Zuale. Looks like we'll get Pithom in the war, but probably not Abydos. That's okay. So those are going there, but where's our settler coming from? Fuck me. Um, Not Delft. Delft can do it to catapult, actually. Wait, that was supposed to be one of the workers. So workers... Ugh. Anyway, let's see the Zulu. No, filling all my cities didn't help much. Um, but I don't want to, have to like, it's, it's worth paying. This is the cost of one upgrade in exchange for not having to deal with this bullshit. Call that worth. The settler here, yeah, I think the settler's coming out of Rotterdam. We could just give up this tile. Yeah, let's just give up this. Uh, has an important road, but. There's some stuff I don't want to have to deal with. Hey, a Skipper, do not question my practices of catapult breeding. This a type of animal husbandry dates back to the early... 7th century BC. <laughs> Although if anyone thought of that, it'd probably be the Dutch, let's be honest. Okay, next turn we get Pithom. Okay. The roads being cut is, is not fun. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's a lot of workers, too. Um, Egypt has liberated these workers for themselves, but... Not liberated enough. Actually gave me a free move on them. Thank you, Egypt. I probably wanted to go to the... Where am I replanting this? Um... Probably here, actually. <laughs> uh, but I still want this road. Oh, I could have walked here. No, I, I want the road. It's fine. Okay. Oh, and okay. now I have to attack into this. Um, uh, that's fine. Okay, good. She'll cut the roads. Oh, this is an issue because... I, I, there's only one unit in there. Great, and that should last me until the war is basically over. Okay. 
Um, let's keep up the trading. It's, it's been harder to trade while we're at war. Yeah, I do this thing where I, I get to the end of the engineer and I start neglecting tech a bit. Because let's be honest, the techs are hard in the engineer. Yeah, 120 gold flat. So interest on that. I never met Russia. That pisses me off. I lost all my boats and I never met Russia. Where? I don't even know where they are. They don't look like they're here. They must be up here, I guess. Yeah, sorry. Oh, if we wouldn't, this one, the worker wouldn't have made it anyway. Fuck me. Yeah, well, they're alone on an island and they haven't been trading, and that's what the AI on Sid, they just build a million units and cripple themselves with unit costs. That's just how it is for them. Which is why Archipelago is weirdly favored, but also not favored, because AI will be backwards in tech, but they'll also have a million units so you can never conquer their island. And when I say a million, I mean like a, a lot of fucking units. Not a million, but like st they just, you, you land their, you, you drop a stack in their land and they've got a stack of 40 coming for you, stuff like that. Okay, I, I guess it's kind of good. Um, you know what? No, it is good that the Babylonians are still at war because now I can just rinse and repeat. Um, if they're still just if the Egyptians are still distracted, I still have time to kind of push in. This is a new plant, yeah. At some point, I need Abidos to be dead because it's it's causing issues for a bunch of my cities. Should probably work. Yeah. What's the plan for victory? It, it's Sid, right? You just take what's in front of you. So on Sid, the, the easier ones, I guess I could try a cross-continent domination. These are within bombing range, interestingly. Um, but more likely diplomat to conquer my continent and then do diplomatic, or at least get a good positioning on my continent and then do diplomatic. Fuck this. Uh, I'll toss away the elite, I guess. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, I got it. Didn't want to lose. That's a good, that's an important tile, right? So didn't want to lose that. In fact, let's do this and that. Yeah. If he wants to attack, I'd rather lose the the, the horseman than the. the Frickin' tile. Okay, so Babylon is... Still at war with her. Oh, wait, I actually have two in there. Yeah, so it's probably more favorable. She wants to attack into a veteran spear. She doesn't get the city, and then she can't get the road either. Uh, that's not bad. Yeah, wait, oh, fuck. This actually might be our, my best bet at Republic, though. We'll come back to that, Mongols. Oh, that uh, certainly sounded the fire alarm. Okay, um... How much is left on my deal with Babylon? Two. Ah, fuck, I messed this up. Um, that's pretty good, actually, yeah. And then I could just do that. And then no one's going to come for the stack. And if they do, it's not the end of the world. 
Uh, I need to make sure that this option is off, otherwise the, the worker job could get cancelled. And I do need that road pretty badly for this new city I'm going to plant. So three workers go in, bam, bam, bam. I do BBB as the hotkey. Slave, switch, slave, switch, slave, switch, or slave. I call this chain slaving. Uh, and it's new tech I've been trying out in these games. Yeah, it's actually probably better to do this. Uh, this here is pretty good too. Yeah, we'll have a few different ways to get into the new city. Um, fuck this dude. Okay, we got, we've been getting pretty good, good RNG recently. I like that. We did do the markets. Like, we finished the market without issue. I, I think we're going to switch to temple. Oh, we could do Hero, hero Epic. Yeah, like, I th I might be being too cocky again, but I think we will have the units we need. Okay. Uh, Mongols, currency, 509. And then 11, 22. Okay, so this is an option. And maybe I can get something from Trading Way Republic. Maybe I can get some stuff from Trading Way generally. We'll finish off the war with Egypt, though, first. Huh. Interesting. I Yeah, I, I got enough on hand, it looks like, to deal with that. I could, like, do this. Yeah. This is annoying, certainly, but... You know, a free farming promotion, so... That's okay. Okay, I did get a lot of these core worker jobs are, are fucking done. And some decent roads through the, uh, the tundra too. All in despotism. So the timing on this is actually lining up pretty decently. I great leader farm? I think I can. Yes. Ah, this is a good time to chop, actually. Please don't tell anyone you saw me building temples, guys. I'm really ashamed of it, but <laughs> that's just the strategy on Sid. Because I don't I don't do tech, so I need it for the border expanse. Uh and mine's the despotism penalty. Um so weirdly, if you have worse land, often the despotism penalty is uh not as significant. It's it's like an equalizing factor a bit. So we got two more settlers coming. I think we wanted another settler on the front line just for whatever purposes. Oh. Jesus. Okay. So we can pull some stuff out here. We have radar with the the fucking army, don't we? Interesting, okay. Uh, do we have one more turn left or, or zero? This is a, this is zero turns, right? I think that's zero. So we're just gonna do the check here. Okay. I'm having aqueduct. Oh, this is still no iron, yeah. I guess there's a risk that... Okay, this is concerning. Babylon's starting to lose cities, but I guess Babylon being weak is better than me for me than than them being too strong. 
what will units cost be under Republic? They'll be quite low because I'm going to spend all my shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's how we do things. But like we're time lining it up with the. Okay, so currently we have no alliance versus Egypt. Good. Okay, so that's done. Okay, uh, let's let's try some. We'll see what I can get. Right. Oh, now he has currency. Fuck me. Jesus. Who fold sold that fucker currency? Inflation. Hitting everybody out here. Jesus. I mean, she'll give me something clearly here, I think. Yeah. So the, the peace deal is worth something. So... She's gonna have boats in my land, right? Not a, it's not actually not a guarantee. Like this one, I guess these ones will go back here. Yeah. So this temple's actually paid off in a sense. Okay. Um. So yeah, if we want a chance to buy, that's not bad actually. There's Republic. I don't know if I can trade that for something, but there it is. So we have Republic now. The trick I'm going to use is I'm going to try to kick him out of my... Yeah, I'll maybe bait some empty cities or something. I don't know. Let's not fuck this up. Okay. Nothing. Does this have something to do with it? I, I don't want them... Mongols actually aren't tiny. They'll be fine in the late game. Got it. I, I, maybe I should have just bought... No, I, I think I messed up. I should have bought monotheism. I think that would have been the cheaper tech, and then I could have brokered it to people. I probably got Republic as a result. Uh, keeps me coming back. It's just a fantastic game. Uh, extremely... There's a lot of challenge to it. There's a lot of nuance without like having a, a million different mechanics, you know? It's reasonably simple, simple, and then devilishly complicated too. So I owe Egypt a bunch of money. You know what? If Mongols are at war with Babylon. Oh, no, they're not, actually. Well, they're, they're pretty far away. I'm not really scared of the Mongols too much. And if Egypt... If they, like, try to enlist Egypt in the war... Then I, I, I get all my money back. So because I'm paying Egypt all that money, I think, I think we're, we're fine here. Uh, it'd be nice to get that border expand before we switch, but I think we have to government switch, right? Wait, do I just go broke? What happens to your gold per turn payments in Anarchy? Let's find out. Okay, we just lose a building per turn, I guess. Fuck me. Um, That's brutal. Perfect. 
for how many turns? Please tell me I didn't roll high. Okay, that's a mid roll. Last game I high rolled. Okay, I, I think I played this wrong. I should have stayed in despotism longer and rinsed and repeated the war. But we, we get the hand we're given. No reloads here. How was it at the start of my YouTube channel? Well, I played multiplayer Civ 3. The community wasn't big and we wanted more players. So I just started recording my games and I put them up. Um, got virtually zero views, like maybe 10 or 20 views on each of the videos for a while. Eh, maybe a bit more than that. I didn't post them anywhere though. I've never been super big about shilling my stuff. Um, yeah, at a certain point I did a single player game. Yeah, it was a single player game, Demigod is America. And that got like a few, I think I got up to like 100, 120 or something in like a couple of comments that made me feel good. Uh, the first big breakthrough, I did like a couple single players after that. Again, not much better response. Like big multi-part series on, uh, on Deity. Uh, the first big one was like a demigod Celts game. A lot of these were in like really low quality. The mic, my mic was always good because I had a mic from when I played music, uh, for recorded music. Uh, but my video quality was low, like 480p. You couldn't even really see. You had to like kind of try to make out what, what the city was building. It wasn't really obvious. Anyway, I posted the. I, I thought people had been talking about ICS Infinite City Sprawl on the the subreddit for Civ Three, so I thought of posting it there. And then instantly there was like a bump in my viewership. I got like 80 viewers in one day, which was a huge, like before that I was getting maybe 10 or 12 or 15. Uh, so yeah, from then I had like a slow trickle and I posted more single player videos and there's more interest. And I did more clickbait tutorials and those eventually drove more traffic too. And like once it was the case that it, I was like the front page when you search for Civ 3, I, I feel I had a lot more momentum there. Because I'm a newer creator making new content. A lot of the content creators either had shit audio or video or no audio at all. I guess I had shit video in a way too. But I did switch to HD. Okay, I, I guess I have to make her declare. Yeah, either I have to go for Babylon or I have to make her declare war on me. Wait, did I not lose a building? Maybe you don't lose buildings in Anarchy. Yeah, maybe you should time the switch with... Interesting. Yeah, I started in around the start of 2018. Uh, I think by halfway 2018, I, I had like regular viewers like i wasn't just posting to ghost town which like if, if you guys have ever tried to make a youtube channel a lot like that will happen you post a video and it's like you get like 12 views and <laughs> in a week and then over the next couple months you get maybe 20 more it can be brutal yeah i think like i was a little cautious about showing my stuff but i think they're <laughs> I, ironically, I probably should have because nobody was doing what I was doing at the time. Yeah, like I said, either they had bad video. They a lot of them just like were really shit at the game. There's some like high video quality playthroughs you can find that are much older, where people are like getting their ass kicked on Chieftain or Regent. Uh, fine, obviously, but I think people did want to see how to play the game well because it's a hard game. There are a lot of tricks and there's a lot of ways to play well. But it's also just very hard. Uh, so that made my channel stand out a bit. Yeah, like I, I think if I just straight up had posted on CFC and Reddit being like, hey, here's a video of me beating like a clean demigod game on a Pangea map pretty quickly with no exploits or shills or shit for people to criticize, people would have liked that. Or enough people would have liked that or tolerated that, that I would have got like my, my foot off the my uh What do you say? My foot off the ground? What am I thinking? My plane off the ground. My foot in the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm really excited to be watching on a live stream with you after watching so many videos. Well, I mean, I'm trying to do it more regularly every Sunday, noon Eastern Standard Time. So the one place I will consistently say if I'm streaming is on Twitter. So, and, and you can ask me too, are you streaming this weekend? Um, it's YouTube makes it really hard to do a community post. Some people do like little videos where they announce their streams and stuff. Uh, for me, Twitter is just the easiest thing for me. To, and and not all you, sorry, I, I should ping the, dis, I normally ping the Discord too, but yeah, if you sign up for the stream viewers ping on the Discord, you'll, you'll get that. But uh, a lot, I have more followers on Twitter than I do have people subscribe to that ping on, on Discord. Is that true, Maledict? Yeah, I'm, I'm not losing buildings here, or at least it's not telling me that I'm losing buildings. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, good to know that. Oh crap, I can't slave anymore when I'm in Republic. Uh, good I got the temple there. I got most of the temple. Yeah, I just need one here. It'd be nice if I could fill in the gaps there, but whatever. Okay, so can I kick her out and get my money back? Nice for filling in the gaps here. That was good. In 23 turns, we get Anarchy, or sorry, we get Engineering. That's not so bad. Did you stop making two? So I'm, oh, is it affecting my, I don't think it is. Okay, so she calls it unfair, but she doesn't say that I'm a liar and a cheat. <laughs> Yeah, so she thinks it's unfair because because I have negative 49 per turn, they don't accept any promises when you're in, in deficit, right? So she sees I'm offering zero gold per turn in exchange for one gold, which is bullshit to her. But she doesn't say that I've betrayed her, cause, right? Because I'm, I'm still paying her the gold per turn, I, I guess. Yeah, like it doesn't show that deal is cancelled. So I haven't reneged on a deal. So that's how I know. <laughs> yeah, I can declare a war. I'm not sure if you mean that like absolutely literally or not, but uh, if you if you do, that's absolutely wild. I think technically I benefit more from the scientist because if I trade for engineering, I can. Uh, get the beakers I invested into it refunded. They just don't ask for as much money from you if you have beakers invested. What difficulty do you play on Experio? Ah, okay. I region is the fairest difficulty. I mean, that's the difficulty that multiplayer is played on. So really, you are the best player of all. <laughs> okay, let's disband some crap. Ah, uh, yeah, so all of our warriors... Okay, look at this. Uh, it's like a swarming with ants. Is this zero percent on? The, am I zero percent on the happiness? Please tell me. Oh my god, I'm zero percent on the happiness. Okay, I got. I can fix this a bit. Yeah, there's more gold coming in. In fact, I can probably get away with ten percent now. Uh, we'll see. We'll come back to that. This city has a lot of unhappiness from slaving. Uh, 
one goes here. Yeah, that sounds right. And then one goes over here. Good. Maastricht. Gonna get to the next size eventually. Okay, we, we need, yeah, we need this. Uh, we should cool our jets on the catapults for a little bit while we wait for um, engineering, because then we can do trebuchets. Uh, good tip, Seth Pavic. Yeah. Hey, potato. How many workers are you supposed to have per city? So generally, the rule is between one and one point five. It depends on what your land is, what your government situation is. Like, sometimes when I'm doing Republic, I like being a little lean on workers just to run lower unit support in the meantime. But it, it slows down your progression on uh, tile improvements, which reduces your commerce, reduces your production. So there's a trade-off. If you're less than one per city, unless you're, like, already done your core, like, all your worker moves, yeah, something's wrong. Obviously, once you finish things up, you can expand or join your workers if you need to. Uh, the AI seems to have a 50-man army of worker by turn two in tech. Um, the, ac the AI actually, if you look at them here, one of their biggest mistakes on higher difficulty levels is they don't build enough workers. Uh, but they may easily have more workers than you. So uh, take that with a grain of salt. I wonder how this game compares to my last one. Like, how did the milestones of like teching and all that differ between the two games? I think I'm actually gonna spam the spearman too. And this catapult. Catapults aren't super useful, yeah. We do want the temple in Gouda. It makes the attack on SCOT easier. Um, there. Okay. We'll do market here. Markets are good. How does combat work on Civ 3 tool app? I'm so confused. At some point, I don't get the shield concept. Oh, uh, the one, the towels app? Uh, it's just like, is it a good trade of shields or is it a bad trade of shields? So if, let's say you have a 50-50 chance of beating their unit, but their unit's more expensive than yours, then you are trading up in shields in that sense. Of course, on high difficulty levels, trading up in shields is not enough because the AI produces you more than slightly, right? They produce you by two or three or four to one. Uh, but that's the fundamental idea. Are you gaining, killing more shields worth of units than you are risking with your attack? Am I down to three warriors? Where's the final one? Oh, there's one down here. Okay. I just... <sighs> 84 in units. Okay, that's that's an issue. Okay, I guess all reg spears have to go, we'll say. And we'll get rid of like one of the catapults, maybe. Yeah, this should give us some wiggle room. Uh, we can just straight up like plant like right here. We could actually get no, uh, no, we don't need to take out Thebes. That's useless. So what's the worker? Do I just have twenty? Uh, twenty four honestly is not that many workers. These are mostly crap cities. But we got a lot more than... Oh, we have the slave workers, too. Yeah, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This is going to be disbanded. So 17 real cities and 24 workers. Yeah, 
So just naturally, I've gravitated to about the 1.25 worker per city. Sorry for so many questions. Okay, potato on stream is exactly where I do like having questions. If it's, yeah. Um, if you come to the... You can yeah you can ask questions in the Discord too, but like just don't expect me particularly to answer them. Like if someone else answers them, I I won't answer them myself. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I can if I have like a lot to say in a YouTube comment. Yeah, I, I I do write it a lot if it's like a good question. But on the other, but it's like minimal audience, right? Especially on if it's on an old video. Uh so that's good and bad. I, I like having questions on stream. I like a lot of stuff to talk about on stream. Okay. Uh, oh, we can switch this over, and that allows us to get more shields in our cap. Okay. I'll, I'll see if there's any other trade deals we can do. No, it seems these... Oh, okay, that's, that's solved. That would be nice. Oh, because I'm so broke. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, I'm at peace with everybody now. Okay, so Zulu, I think, yeah, the Zulu have iron. Babylon still does have iron too. I don't want them losing the second iron because then the Zulu will trade it away. I think the Mongols do not have iron though. Okay, I only have one iron. Huh. It's just something to consider. Okay, I'm, this is absurd, ridiculous. I'm just building the galley now and finding the Russians. I want to know where they are. Uh, well, galley here too. Yeah. Empire Total War has a big. Uh, so the War Total War games have a lot of issues in retrospect, but they were great, and I don't like the new ones so much. Okay, this can be delayed to get more production in our cap. Because our cap's going to be capped on growth, so it does not need any more um, irrigation. Sure. Oh, okay. Am I the only person with con with Germany? Very well may be the case. Okay, get some extra disbands off here. Nice. You know what? If I'm going to be disbanding, I might as well do it now. Yeah, let's disband all the non slave catapults. I, just, I don't want to be paying unit support on them for a few turns, you know? Is this too many? Oh, uh, I think we. We could have put a city here without issue. I think we want one here. This could flip. Um, it's not the end of the world if it flips. This one goes here. Nice. We can do courthouses too. Oh, and we're actually making bank off these markets. I forgot that, like, yeah, the, one of the best deals of the markets is that they scale well. But then why am I so broke? It's still a 68 per turn unit support cost. Okay. Oh, because I haven't grown my cities. They're not size 7. Okay, so Maastricht will grow. Utrecht will grow. Eidhoven, yeah, so we, we stopped that. Good, okay. This will grow. Make this grow faster. Greningen, uh, Groningen. This is my grand city over here. Hmm. Okay. What's going on? Are they fighting Babylon? 
Uh, yeah, they're still at war with Babylon. Okay, so... Fuck, Bab lost their cap. Okay, this is getting ugly. I don't... Uh, I guess they would probably lose their iron to the Zulu, but... I still don't like this. Okay, so... I get my gold per turn back. That was a lot of gold per turn. He's not going to be distracted for much longer, so... Yeah. I still have two catapults on hand. I think my war awareness is out. Um, I'm not locked into any of these wars. Oh shit, actually, no, it fucking. Ugh. Christ. Because of my war with Japan and with the Mongols, like, it, my war winners didn't have time to tick down, and your war winners score exists even when it doesn't really make any sense for it to exist. Fuck me. Okay. So, we're just gonna walk our, our stack to Abidos. He won't attack the army. I got two catapults in there, that's a good start. Twin Temple, I guess. I mean, Nets has more gold per turn, even with the unhappiness from that. Uh, there's going to be walls, I guess. <laughs> Bigger direct military threat than a culture flipping threat. Okay, we've reroded some of these tiles. Uh, Christ. Of course, yeah. Oh, what the fuck is that? That's going to cost me big in terms of happiness. Israel size one, yeah. I needed, to, yeah, I was not ready for this war. Um, the timing is, is it sucks because the timing is good in a lot of ways, but. And now, now these cities are empty. Yeah, I guess I redistribute these warriors. At least we finished that road, right, guys? Christ. Okay, that's not happening. That's fine. Temple. Uh, I think we're trying to take a... Yeah, we don't take a beauty. This war is kind of a shit show. Okay, we can clean up whatever's in the galley. I think he's going to take a city for sure. If he just lands here. Ah, uh, maybe not, actually. We'll see. It's two galleys? Yeah, it's possible we live. What? Why? <laughs> Jesus. Why would you do that? <laughs> Four turn to mine. No, it takes six turns if you're not industrious, Frank Zappa. You should build in one go with four workers. No, it depends on the circumstances. If you it if you're walking workers to tiles, that's wasted worker moves. You only need to walk one to a tile. Uh, so if you're wasting time walking your workers into single tiles, then you're moving your workers inefficiently, and you'll improve your tiles slower. Ah, three turn. Okay, that's manageable. She re might reasonably have engineering by now, too. The bigger threat into Rotterdam. Fuck. How is she building war chariots? Christ, this is fucking dangerous. 
if I lose this, no, I can just walk this here. Uh, okay. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, so these cities are safe. I don't even know where the seller is going. Um, we'll just put it on. Yeah, I, I guess it's going to the front lines. Uh, Horseman of War Chariot. Because if the thing is, if when she enters my land with Horseman of War Chariot, I just kill her shit. Ugh, fucking hell. What the fuck? I seriously lose the city now. This is dumb bullshit. Oh, okay, I was lucky, I guess. So she gets three attacks off. I have four decent units. I should have put one on the fucking road. Jesus. But now guarding the hill, definitely more important than that. Oh my lord. Okay, if I survive this, I need walls. I think that's worth paying 44 gold for. I still need the gems. I still need this road because it connects over the... Uh, if I get two more mines and I pass this... Oh, wait. I, I just straight up have Archer Return. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not looking good. <laughs> a few different places. Oh, she just wanted her workers back. Okay. She, for some reason, she doesn't path towards these cities. What is that? I don't get it. Okay. She's got veterans now. For what that's worth. Um, you know, I have veterans, she has regs, and my guys are fortified. That's pretty good on that alone. Uh, if, if I move that there, I can maybe try to retake. Okay, I'm going to turn Animate Battles on for this turn, just because it seems like a an epic one. Christ. Zulu, great leader in the middle of Babylonian land. Oh, he's got the retreat function, which is good for me, kind of. It'd be nice to kill these things. Spearman closing on Zwale. Okay, that was what did, that's what gave me the extra tick. Fuck off. Okay, at least I got this city to next size. And I, I have no units here. God, I I really screwed myself. Wait, I'm not at war with Zulu. Okay, well I might as well. If we're gonna enter a shit show, we might as well make a profit off this shit show. So Zulu. We're going to buy mono. I'm too broke to buy mono. Okay, let's see how these people are doing. They just everybody has feud mono. Yeah, I might get lucky with engineering. I think off somebody I'll get slang from engineering, but uh, I wanted some insurance against Zulu declaring war. I could borrow gold off them, I guess. Generally, this is a good deal.
Uh, Mongols, I'm not too scared of being at war with, but... No, that's not worth it. God, I just need more fucking swordsmen. I have plenty of veteran swordsmen, just not in the place I need them to be. Uh, I didn't actually lose anything here, interestingly. Nice. Good. Now we got these stream of archers coming up. These are just garbage. We can just toss them away as needed. Okay. We can at least get the east coast uh, guarded off. This needs to be spear in case Egypt lands with something significant. Uh, good. No offensive units. Okay. I can just make peace with Egypt whenever I want. There's no military alliances here. God. It's a real possibility I won't get the city. I need, like, decent rolls on my army. Oh, this can move up. And this heals. Yeah, just, like, attacking the war chariots is, is good. Uh, oh, this can attack over here. I think I can gamble that I'll, I'll take... Yeah, this... He, he actually can't go here. I think I'll gamble I'll take Abydos and... Play like I play confidently, you know. And then it doesn't matter that this is unguarded because he can't really get onto it next turn. Do spearmen here. Nice, these guys lived. Again, no pressure on this front. It's kind of weird. Hey, welcome back, any simmers. We've made some good progress. We're in Republic. Um, but. We got it. We're fighting another war against Egypt. You know, we might get a Bidos next turn. We'll see. Okay, that's annoying. Again, one per turn. The one per turn archer in the cap is so good. Uh, I think we, yeah, try the MGL farm. Fuck, we need these to hit. We need these to hit. Okay. Okay, good, good roll in our first attack. I think we got to try again. Good. Okay, here it is. We got it. Nice. We didn't even lose a single thing. Good. One of my workers, too. Okay, so we can make peace with Egypt. This is a Babylonian city. Is that? There's no iron there. Okay. Nice. Uh, we have the settler for the replant. The settler goes. Mm, we lose the floodplains if we do this, but I think this is the best place for the settler. Good. We we fought him off here. Oh, he's still being a. Great A asshole. Nice, okay. Fuck. The leader, the, I'm not at war with the Zulu actually, uh, mm -hmm. Nicholas. And they, they don't actually do. Wait, he blocked my one per turn archer here. 
Oh, okay. This should most probably be fine. Yeah, okay. Fuck him. Really fuck him, though. We need to... We got this walled off. That's good. You know, we can bring these units up since we got the wall. Uh, and that's okay. Oh, we do need that at some point. Good for our unit support situation, too, at the very least, with the workers. Uh, with the units, I, I don't want to be low on units, but I, I guess it's probably good for that, too. Kroningen is doing okay. Lots of damage. It's a big stack, but lots of damage units. This road getting cut is fine. We'll get these full health. Uh, I don't want to lose this. Yeah, let's do that. Should I have switched here? Probably. Did I switch? Absolutely not. His crown is a little yellow, yeah. Oh, I can do this. Uh, okay, good. I could have saved the spearman and. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, oh, that's fine. Yeah. I got plenty of units here. So, whenever Egypt wants to make peace, I will make peace with them. Sure, I, I've learned my lesson about messing with the other continent. It's just such a it's so, so hard to get rid of. It. What the one health? Did he just beat shit with one health war chariots and then? Okay, they don't disband workers. Like if this is so in multiplayer, when they disband workers like that, they will take your workers. Or sorry, they when they take your workers like that, they will disband them, which is a pain in the ass. Uh, the, the AI doesn't do that, thank God. Okay, so I finally have this town north of my capital that I wanted. Pretty early in the game. Okay. We do need the mine here. Uh, he's on my mountain. Free farm. Oh, this can go here, yeah. I mean, either she sits on the mountain. This isn't multiplayer where them sitting on your mountain and getting free vision of your troop movements is a relevant factor. The AI doesn't do anything with that information. Either she hangs out on the mountain or she... And I don't care. It forces me to guard the city, I guess, but that's that's fine. Or she goes down somewhere with lower defense value where it can just kill her. Outpost, outpost. Oh, look at that gold per turn coming in. Beautiful. Uh, this is mostly from the war wariness. Yeah, so I need to check every turn if I'm at war. Oh, okay, she'll make peace. Good. I even might be able to get a good deal on feud or mono. More, you know what? Feud too. We'll see if anyone has one but not the other. Because I, I want my war wariness to tick down. This is not sustainable. If I, like, someone new declares war, I'm committed to another... 10 turns or something and that's a nightmare so they all seem to have mono and few but none of them have engineering interestingly oh okay there it is babylon does not have mono so i get mono from the war and then i'd trade that to babs okay because she's willing to give me something here for ending the war i think yeah 300 gold instead i'm gonna pass her gold Wow, that is... But you know, it worked, right? I, if it worked before, maybe it will work again. Uh, getting her to cancel the gold per turn payments. Uh, 
Uh, this is getting awkward. Oh, that's for feud. Oh, sorry. I'll get feud later. Definitely for engineering, I can probably get feud. Ah, this is much more sustainable. Okay. That's mono. Call it Babylon. That's not bad. Um, if they die, it's not like I have to pay this out. Okay, no, I, we're just too broke. Oh, give me some gold, though. Hmm. I got engineering in 15? Interesting. I have a second source of gems. Yeah, Egypt is significantly weaker now. Okay, I think we're in a solid position. I just need to like take a chill pull for a tur few turns, let my war awareness tick down, and then we can go back at it. We can go for Babs, we can go for Egypt. Um, pretty much just those two. And when we get engineering, we can try some crazy deals. Uh, does anyone have... Theo. Oh, Mongols don't actually have mono. Huh. I didn't realize that last time. That's a good chunk of cash. It devalues it for Babs, so it probably won't help with them, but it's, it's good. Just Some of these civs have Theo, but some of them do not. You know what? I think, yeah, I'll just take the payout on the tech. And try to rinse and repeat with engineering when the time comes. Okay. Um... Get my markets. Yeah, we still need these core buildings. We've got a lot of good buildings and a lot of good cities. Oh, at no point did we turn this back on. We do need this at 20. We could probably sell this, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, we could buy the temple. 228. I think we can bring that down. Dutch traits are agricultural and seafaring. So seafaring for starting with alphabet for tech trading, etc. And agricultural because it's by far the best trade in the game. Good. So this goes over here, and then this goes here. I didn't get my... Oh, fuck, I forgot to take my workers back before I ended the war. That's annoying. Markets, courthouses, good buildings. Uh, what's the fastest place to cross? I think from here. And then the Russians must be up here. Let's see. Wait, no, Russians are in the ancient era. So either they're next to the Arabs. That doesn't seem likely. Maybe I can try to... F uh, I thought if I embassied, I could see. Mm. 
they could be an on an island like down here seems unlikely. You know what? We'll we'll try different places. The galleys are, are are a little faster than the Kuraz. I guess we'll leave Tilburg up. We could uh, abandon. It's it's good for unit support in the short term, but once the cities get big, they start to step on each other's toes a lot. Okay, Hroningen has uh, done enough of that. It needs to grow a bit. It is too productive to be able to do the cycle I want it to do, a worker per two, so... I think it should be fine without the temple for a while. It's not going to get the tier 4 anytime soon. Well, just in case. Now at some point I'll need all this walled off. But they have shown no interest in attacking it, so I'm not really interested in defending it. <laughs> Sistine Chapel, Copernicus. Uh, interesting how they don't have engineering, but they do have Copernicus's. Okay, so if you just move this over, this is, uh, there's some breakpoint I want to hit that I, I had already hit. <laughs> oh, by switching to Republic, it gave me a few extra production, I see. Okay. Uh, two, I guess two here, and then that's pretty much it. Okay, good, good, good. We still need workers in these crap cities. Civ so 3 below the time limits? The scenarios, no. Uh, or do you mean the base game, or, the, or do you really mean the scenarios? I don't think any of the... can't think of any of them in pretty... I guess they may be the... Um, the, the Japan one, you might be able to still get more out of it. If you win on... If you're like the allies and you win on big victory points, but you, you don't feel like you really won. God, these slave workers are so useful. And they're free, so I don't really care about using them efficiently. Good, we're building up some money. Still no engineering. Okay, I guess I might be able to do 11 turns of this and get a big breakthrough with engineering. I don't think it's likely, but eh, weirder stuff has happened. Babylon's weirdly holding on here. Um, Egypt is still at war. Everybody's still at war with them. Let's double, yeah, we want this double roaded so it's not such a nightmare, the prospect of losing the one road connecting our stuff. Uh, engineering will also help with the war. Mongols and Babylon. Good, okay, good. Um, I want Egypt to still be at war, but for the Zulu and Mongols to make peace. That would be the ideal for me.
Okay, I, I guess we go here and check for Russians. Fucking wild. Oh, oh no, we, or we could go south here and check for Russians. If they're there, like, they might have some gold, but other than that, I can't really look too much off of them. Okay, I think I got enough... Yeah, there's actually a lot of workers here, so I, I can start doing stuff like... Like that. Just like having a little area that you know they can't land is a, a pretty big boon. Yeah, I can... I think he's path pathing towards my empty cap. Yeah, so I think I could get him to declare... If I wanted him to declare war on me, if I wanted my 60 gold per turn back, I think letting war weariness tick down is worth more than 60 gold per turn, though. And just avoiding straight-up payments on war weariness. Tilburg should be workers. I guess that's a benefit to planning too many cities is random worker cities. Okay, this one survived. Like, she has like, her golden age. She shouldn't be able to build war traits. I don't know how she still has so many. Uh, oh, you got engineering. How did you get engineering? Does fucking everyone have engineering now? Hmm. That was one of the people I was banking on getting a lot of money off for engineering. Okay. So, oh, a city has fallen. Oh, okay. So I actually never need to fight the Babylonians. I could just fight the Egyptians, which is actually kind of the worst case scenario. <laughs> because they have no... Uh, they have the Great Wall. Uh, but also, it's pretty good because they don't have iron, at least. Is it worth chopping down forests for the grassland tile? Yes, yeah. Generally, it's not the it's lower on the priority list, but you lose two production, and then you gain one food, and then you gain another food or production when you mine it. So it, it ends up being net even. But if you get a bonus grassland, you get an additional shield on top of that. So there's a one third chance or so that it pays off. Uh, and otherwise, it just after you're done all your worker moves, it's complete dead even. I got the border expand here, though, which is cool. Let's get here. Yeah, if we can clean this up in a war. We're just like... I, I like the way we expanded last time. Like, no big wars where you take big chunks of land. Just like a very slow piece by piece. We have more luxuries this time, too. <laughs> Uh, we could plant one here, no risk of this flipping, if I got the border expand. Oh yeah, she pads away as soon as she sees me build the archer here. That's interesting. Uh, I think this one actually has to go. Oh no, this, Egypt completely blocking me off here. 
guess this one's just going around the world then. Okay, let's see if we find any Russian. I'm not seeing any. So what's our unit support at now? It's actually gone down significantly. Oh, we have a lot less workers, despite we're, we're still building army. Uh, this needs to get covered. Made some cake. Ah, oh, what kind of cake did you make? God, what should I have really eaten today? Oh, yeah, sorry, I had breakfast. I had a full breakfast, actually. <laughs> I know what I'm going to eat, actually. Oh, I could do some. I think this movie is not. I'll do the healthier option. Good, actually, size seven. That was really good. Okay, so this area here is walled too. Huh, I wonder, there could be like a little island down here. There's a pretty big stretch of unseen territory. Chocolate cake. Ah. If it's like good icing, but not too much icing, chocolate cake is just the best. Red velvet is overrated. Um, Two impies pathing randomly. Okay, I, I do not want to war with the Zulu. There's no point in that. So I guess guard my cap and then I'll make him go away. Unless they're padding towards another empty city. Jesus. They should be still fighting Babylon. Ah, damn. So, 10%. Okay, again, I'm the biggest landmass civ in the game. Almost. I'm getting up there in population, too. Okay, so I could easily pick off these two. This is a foreign citizen. I could cap this even. Um, this actually might be also a foreign citizen. Mm, I, do, I do need more swords. Yeah. Oh, no, not the... <laughs> Fuck, I don't know how that happened, but I'm glad I caught that before I did. Cake pretty much every day. <laughs> I eat a lot of ice cream, so. Oh, that's iron. Okay, that's his iron. How did she win a war against the Babylonians? I, I don't get it. Anyway, that's got to go. Yeah. Not having that. Not on my watch. Oh, just Tilburg. Okay. Um, that's annoying. I'm glad I didn't get like a, a super big city though. One hundred twenty seven gold, good. Um, that's my city, right? No, I'll raise the city. But why was there Egyptian workers in there? Maybe I had some slaves in there when the war started. Okay, uh, there's not really much to get here. I could try to pick up, pick off Tugela, I guess. So yeah, basically that war just kind of sucks. Not really much benefit to it. I guess ugh, guard my city so they stop pathing dumb, stupid ways. Okay, so there's a lot of cities I can pick off. It's a shame because I do want to expand north, kind of, but these are the easy picking ones. 
because uh, I can just cap them. I don't have to do anything. Yeah, he's halfway across the world. Hmm. I do get some war happiness because he does the. De he was the one who declared. You know, if I'm going to be at war with anyway, I should seriously consider baiting the Egyptians to join. And then we'll get engineering in two, and then we'll see. Yeah, I, I, we'll do this next next playthrough. We'll consider where we want to go with this. We got a few options. Uh, wait, how much? How many turns are left on the Egyptians? Okay, I'll, I'll be getting five. That's not. It's still worth doing, cheating her out of it if I can. Well, I, I don't have to ask now. Okay, so. Shit. We'll see how this goes. So first things first, there's iron right there. Uh, so there's iron here, iron here. I need to clean this up. In the long run, I need to keep her off that. But in the short time, just get Nippur before she starts she roads it, which should take a while, to be fair. Uh, there's a hole in our line right here. So the workers count as... Let's do this, actually. We waste some worker moves, but it's fine. We do still have four catapults on hand, uh, but these are low sized cities, right? So I think we just walk the army. And it's tough because we don't have a lot of on units on hand to deal with whatever they're going to throw at us here, but. Uh, the, the army needs to lead our attacks for sure. Nice. Huh, they did get an MGL, but they would just waste their MGLs on dumb shit, so I'm not worried about that. It's just a spear. Oh, I, I can just walk my stack. It is not going to be the most efficient trade, but I'll, I'll get the city. And that's like a good city to get. It's just a, a good city. It'll be low corruption, high high food. It'll have this wheat, right? These go east. If I walk this here, Jesus. Uh, okay, this is the size seven. I, I should be fine, I think. Uh, oh, I, I actually have the horseman here. Yeah, that's what it's for. Yeah, like we got the buildings we could, and then we switch off. That's okay. Yeah, court we'll finish these two. Uh Zulu of Pikes. Okay. So yeah, my goal is to clean the Egyptians and get all of this land. What did I do? <laughs> okay. Bye bye catapult. Um Let's buy this. This is like we get monopoly on these roads. I don't know if she can use these roads to 
enter our land, but I don't want to fuck around and find out. Uh, get that, yeah. Okay, now we get engineering. Sure, Tokugawa. And I think at least, oh, he's got a few MP around. That's annoying. Oh, this is so engaging, damn it. Okay. Uh, we got the Cordos and Greninjin. Uh, we could do workers. Yeah, this was supposed to be our worker city. Ten shields for fucking turn, Jesus. Okay, this is a good military city, actually. Okay. I like that done, but... Okay, now we can do... Uh, actually, trebuchets would be good if we don't have the barracks already. Okay, I, I think this holds. Uh, I'm not scared. That's just the MP, right? Like, it might be annoying. I'm, I'll have to, like, wall off against him or something. So wait, if, if I just use these swordsmen. No boats near, so I can take these guys. Of engineering, so I can build bridges. Finally, honestly, even archers like into this would be pretty decent. I don't need a ton of units to take it. Okay, let's let's do the trades first. Nothing. Now we can get. Potentially few. Ah, oh, fuck. He's in the next year and he has engineering. Maybe that's where everyone got engineering from. Interesting. Okay. I do want feud. Feud is good. In fact, especially to my cap, because I can do medieval infantry per two. Uh, I can also upgrade some shit if I need to. Is it just the Incans? Weird how the just the Incans. Oh, okay, wait, I can do a two for her. yeah. I got a bunch of gold on hand, which is useful. Seven eleven, good. There's Theo. And off China. I'm gonna have to pay a lot for this. Uh, not as much as I thought, I guess. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Makes sense. Everyone and their dog has feudalism now. Okay, so I'll, I'll do one more round to make sure I don't have any... I got two new techs. Maybe I put some techs up over someone. Over Germany, I do, but they're broke. Shiv. Oh, good. Yeah, that's useful. Damn, it would, it would kick ass if he didn't have Shiv. I think I should just give him... If I give him currency, he'll do markets. Instead of building a million units that just get disbanded because he's broke. Maybe aqueducts too would be useful? I don't know. Yeah, let's see where that goes. We would like him to not be completely useless as a trading partner. Okay, I actually don't want a Golden Age, so I'm not going to build my UU. Oh, I'm, I'm a Republic now. I actually switched Republic way earlier than I did last time. And it's good, right? It's, I'm, it feels good being in Republic.
Yeah, I think I want. I can just pop cities on this side if I. If I'm around. I'm doing an extra turn because I want Nip for. Okay, here we can do trebuchet. Kind of pushing deep. Oh, he, he can just get slaughtered by my swords if I have a few swords on hand. I didn't see anything that turn that really scared me. Oh, fuck. I thought I lost my army there. I just had a mini heart attack. Oof. It's wild. Okay. Um, put our swords here. With the walls, that should be safe. Um, still kind of doing a mini wall against the MP. They kind of, they'll naturally block each other off. Oh, I put these in the wrong tile. Fuck. Oh, but I, I can send these ones in. I guess invention is a good idea here. Good free kill. Free kill, yeah. Beta retreat for free. Oh wow, he actually won that. That's wild. Uh free great leader chance. Don't want him here. <laughs> I did already buy the was it called in that city, so I should try not to lose it. Okay, we got the other sword, another sword coming up. Oh, this should be switched off the, yeah. Rag mid medi is pretty good. Okay, so we're just going to go straight to the Arabs. We're going to bank that the... Doesn't seem the Russians are over here. I guess they could still be here. Yeah, I should probably give that a shot. Yeah, there's no way they're... If Japan is the biggest civ on the map, there's no way they're up there. Okay, so I'm up to 11% of the world's land area, so I'm tied with Japan right now. Somehow, right? It's so wild. Okay, should free up this guy. Let's see, there's no holes. No holes, is this guy here? No, this is a straight line. Okay, we got this, yeah. And then there's two holes here, but that's intentional, that'll be filled. Let's get an archer just in case. The Incans? Ah, that's a pain because the Incans are like a potentially good trading partner. Ah, oh, she got the border expand, huh? 
Oh, good. I got good RNG here. Yeah, that'll do. Good. I can so I can capture this city because it is a Babylonian city, and I'm like if this flips to the Babylonians, it's a pretty easy retake. I mean, it's it's not. I guess it's not even the end of the world if I. Oh, the Babylonians have one more city. I don't care if they have iron, right? Only care if the Egyptians have iron. Nice free little pick there, free little promotion. Uh, that's Japan. Okay, yeah. So we can just turn around. I think they're pretty safe, pretty safe to let to say. There's an island in the top right corner of the map, and that's where they are. How did that get there? Did they disband my catapults? Oh, no, it, it went here. Why there? I don't even know I retake that. Okay, yeah. Um, now this is starting to get a little suspicious. Oh, come, come on. I can't into attack into this because then it will retreat towards my empty city. <laughs> you know what? I'll try for the. Ah, oh, God, that's dead. Guess I don't get my catapult back this turn. Um. Okay, so we we got this row of units coming up. One, two, three. No, I can't get in, so I, I can just take these guys out. And we're going to do Archer, because I, I just need units. I just need bodies at this point. Can I speed this up? Mm. Yeah, that's 10 per turn. Oh, oh sure, yeah. So I I can under rush it even. Nice. That's a good pick. I really just need knights actually. Knights would be 60 shield under rush, so that would be temple. Oh, knights are so good here. Okay, it's, I can spend my gold, so I should spend my gold. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Um, let's walk this. Back. Okay, we, we've got a few units coming in here. Could do Archer. Yeah, good. Oh, this is actually a liability right now. Crap. No, there's a bunch of shit that can get on that. I need peace. Oh, I can make peace with Egypt. Yeah, that's that works, actually. I can just buy her off. Weird how Zulu will not make peace with me, but Egypt will, even though Egypt declared war later. I got the city I wanted off her, though. This I could... Yeah, I got the city. That, that's that's pretty much the only equation. I don't want to lose another city. I got the city off her. I'll take the piece. Huh, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay, I think this is... So, we'll see. Sid, Dutch, boss, playthrough. We made some mistakes here, but I, like I feel like the things we're getting good at are are really helping us out. 
Oh, sorry. I haven't checked uh, chat in a while. Sorry, any simmers. Yeah, so I need to be able to like knock these out and then move back to the city or knock them out and move back to a roaded tile. Um, I, I don't want them to be able to retreat and that the defense in the night is really good too and the attack, obviously. So yeah, um, here I just have to worry about MP. I'm not really going to get any cities. I'll probably just redeclare war. Yeah, I paid her off for the piece. Oh, I actually do owe her gold per turn, but I'm sure they'll, I'll find some way to manipulate a war with her. Okay, yeah. Uh, sorry. Good. Okay, we're well set up for next week. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys next week.